and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto the death. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word. Blessings to you all that are coming in. Happy Tuesday. I bless the Lord for you all that are coming in. This is Tuesday Night Testimony Live. Please share as you come in. Hit the reaction buttons and type in the comment section. It's testimony time in the house of the Lord. And if this is your first time tuning in, welcome. And thank you for joining us and please let us know where you are tuning in from so we can all greet you and please tag someone who you believe may have a testimony thank you all for coming in and please share please hit the reaction buttons I'm going to hit some myself. I'm excited to be in the presence of the Lord and the saints once again. We give honor and glory to the Lord, our Heavenly Father, our King of Kings and Lord of Lords to our precious Holy Spirit who is our master teacher and our comforter. Please, as you come in, please share. We thank the Lord for all the testimonies that have been coming in. My husband and I have been praying over them and over your prayer requests. And please continue to share them with us. The Lord is truly working in our favor, the true body of Christ. Thank you guys for coming in. Please share and type in your testimonies, your prayer requests, and hit the reaction buttons. So guys, testimony service is still being restored in the house of the Lord all over the world. He has heard our prayers and we honor the Spirit of the Lord for His presence and the demonstration of his power through our testimonies. Amen? Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. And two things, guys. If we can type in our testimonies in the chat and your prayer requests. I'm going to wait a couple more minutes for more people to join us. Yeah. And if you can please share. Absolutely, saints. Please share the broadcast as you come in, and uh, we want to hit the uh, reaction button so the message can disseminate. And uh, we're going to give a few more minutes for more to come in. Um, we know on the East Coast it's a little bit late there. On the West Coast, they're about two hours earlier than we are, so they're about 6 o'clock right now. You guys are about 9 o'clock. So we're going to give a few more minutes for more people to come in. As you come in, if there's a testimony on your heart, if there are uh, anybody on your heart, the Lord placed anybody on your heart at any time that um, you know needs prayer. We're in a season where there's an open window in heaven for the joy of the Lord and also healing from the Lord. So if there's someone you know that needs healing, 
needs the joy of the Lord, let's go ahead and type their name in the chat. It's a point of contact by faith. Uh, we're going to pray at the end over every testimony. We're going to pray over every person that we place in the chat. And we believe that the Holy Ghost is going to begin to work in their hearts, work in their lives, work on their behalf, and work on their situation. So we're excited to be with you all on tonight. I know the First Lady uh, has a word for us on tonight. I'm excited to hear what the Lord's been sharing with her. And uh, I know it's just a small excerpt of a much larger conversation that the Lord has had with her, but I'm excited to hear what our piece is from the Lord. And so um, if you have a testimony, please share. First Lady and I have been getting testimonies all week long, all types of testimonies, you know. And um, there have been individuals that, you know, uh, uh, need healing and the Lord is speeding up the healing process. There have been individuals with medical bills, um, several, where the Lord, they thought, it, it, they were going to have to pay one amount, and the Lord has blessed them to pay far less uh, than they thought they were going to have to pay. So the Lord is just working so many things out in so many people's lives. There were people that, you know, uh, potentially could have lost their life that are still here by the miracle working power of the Lord. So there are many testimonies um, that are going on, and there's all kind of testimonies of blessings. Um, individuals who are going back to school and entering school and the Lord is blessing them where their school fees were not as much as they thought they were going to be there. Their tuition was a lot lower than they thought it was going to be and different things. So the Lord is just blessing the saints across the board. We want to encourage you throughout the week. If you have a testimony, please reach out to the first lady or myself uh, through messenger and uh, send your testimonies in and we will share them. And, um, <clears throat> We're going to begin in the weeks ahead to have many of you be able to come on and share your testimonies live with us. And um, and we're going to let you on and share your testimonies. And uh, we're going to hear what the Lord, the awesome things the Lord is doing in your life. Also want to encourage everyone that your testimonies are powerful. And I want to encourage everybody. Uh, Pastor Sheba, we thank the Lord for you, ma'am, coming in. We thank the Lord for all the saints and all the leaders uh, from around the contiguous United States of America and the international community. Um, we just thank the Lord for each and every one of you. Bishop Vero Mitchell, we thank the Lord for you, sir. All of the leaders that are coming in, we just bless the Lord for you. And I uh, just want to encourage everybody that your testimonies are powerful. Somebody needs to hear them. And uh, and we know that their testimony will be a blessing. And saints, all of us should have testimonies because I want to encourage us uh, to something else uh, as well is that we should all be spreading the gospel message to our neighbors, to our family members. And then as we do that, there are going to be testimonies uh, from us spreading uh, the gospel. And so, you know, the old saints used to go out and they used to do what they call working for the Lord. They would go share the Lord Jesus Christ with other, uh, you know, individuals saved, uh, I'm sorry, unsaved and unbelievers. So they believed in going out and sharing the gospel on their job in the streets and the marketplace and the boardrooms, wherever the Lord would call them. And then they come back in and they testify about, um, how they went out and they shared the Lord Jesus Christ. So all of us, by virtue of just sharing the gospel, should have testimonies. We should be te sharing testimonies with our family members and sharing testimonies. Lady Jen and I, we came up where we saw the the uh, older saints um, just sharing the Lord Jesus everywhere. And they would come in and testify about how the Lord was saving their loved ones, saving their neighbors, saving uh, their family members, saving their co-workers. And Lady Jen and I are experiencing the same thing. And so, you know, Lady Jen and I are always testifying about how the Lord is saving people, touching their hearts. Uh, we have an opportunity to pray with so many people to hear uh, their stories and what's happening in their life. And so it gives us a rich opportunity to share the Lord Jesus. And we are testifying in many of our services about how the Lord is touching people and saving them. Many of our family members, I mean, we have a testimony that uh, Lady Jen was with um, the other half of our family, her half, and um, they're, you know, asking her questions about the broadcast. And so it says to us that they're watching us. Our testimony is we have family members that were not previously watching the broadcast and getting the word of the Lord. Now they're watching. And so, you know, we uh, if, if we're serving the Lord 
and we are, and if we're doing what the Lord has given us to do, which is spread the name of the Lord Jesus, then there ought to be some testimonies, and we're convinced that there are going to be testimonies. So if you have a testimony on your heart tonight, please type it in the chat. Uh, I am vigilantly watching. The First Lady is going to take us further in our testimony service. And if you know somebody that needs healing, needs deliverance, needs a miracle, needs salvation, baptism in the Holy Ghost, whatever the case may be, please start to type their name in the chats because we are going to pray over everybody in the chat uh, before we conclude the service, all right? First Lady, I'm excited on tonight to hear what the, listen, to hear what (laughs) the Lord uh, has uh, for us on tonight. And I'm excited to be with you on the night. I I thank the Lord for you and I appreciate Mm -hmm. you inviting me on to assist. And um, I'm I'm just so excited. We've been waiting on testimonies. Uh, Bishop V and Pastor Sheba in the Tri-City area up there, they just uh, were talking about testimony mm-hmm. service on Thursday night at the round table, also Wednesday night at the Bible study. Listen, saints, tomorrow night we have our midweek Bible study with Dominion House of Restoration. Bishop Vero and Pastor Sheba Mitchell want to invite you out there. That's going to be at 8.30 Eastern Standard Time. That means 7.30 for us. 7.30, we're going in prayer here. It's a uh, amalgamation and uh, of uh, I give you peace ministries in Aegis with the North American Watchmen's Council, and so we're going to have an hour of prayer before we start, and uh, at seven thirty Central Standard Time. Uh, so that is, I'm sorry, that's going to be seven thirty Eastern Standard Time. Six thirty is going to be Central Standard Time. Everybody's going to be four thirty on the West Coast. So at eight thirty Eastern Standard Time, we're going to start Bible study. And um, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time, we're going to have prayer. So if you're on the East Coast, 7.30, we're having prayer. 8.30, our midweek Bible study kicks off. If you're in this, if you're uh, in Central Standard Time in the South, we're going to be 6.30 prayer, 7.30 Bible study. If you're on the West Coast, you are going to be 4.30 for prayer, and then you're going to be at about 6.30 for Bible study, okay? So we like to get everybody their time zones. And uh, Thursday night, we're on the round table again with uh, Bishop. Vero, uh, Pastor Sheba Mitchell, and Dominion House of Restoration. You don't want to miss that. Last week, we uh, Prophet Emmanuel Davis from Kingdom Embassies, Kingdom Embassy Ministries was on uh, with the Mitchells, and what a power, power, uh, powerhouse uh, roundtable uh, that they had, a prophetic roundtable that they had last Thursday. If you missed that, go all over our pages. It is listed everywhere. You can get that if you missed midweek Bible study last week. Please go ahead and get that. It's all over our pages. If you're plugged in, you know uh, it's in our Kingdom Embassy Hub. For those of you that are in there, it's also in our uh, IPBS Hub. If you are a member of those two hubs, if you like to be a member of those two hubs, please reach us, out to us and we will add you to those, uh, those hubs. All things North American Watchmen's Council and all the churches that are in this in the council uh, are listed in those hubs. Um, and so if you're a part of the IPBS, you're going to get all your notifications out of that hub. Everything else, North American Watchmen's Council, you're going to get out of the Kingdom Embassy hub. So we just want to make everybody aware of that who may not be aware, who may come across this broadcast. Again, if you like us to add you, just reach out to any one of us. We can get you in those hubs. And we thank the Lord for all of uh, the leaders who have the mindset to create these hubs so that we can stay informed each and every day. And um, so we'll be in prayer tomorrow for an hour, and then we'll be in midweek Bible study. Thursday we'll be in prayer, then on the prophetic roundtable. Saturday, this coming Saturday, is going to be our IPBS. So we're going to be 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time if you're on the East Coast. And if you're on the West Coast, you'll be starting at 9 a.m. with us. Uh, The invitations for that are pinned to the top of my personal page. Just type my name in. Apostle Guy A. Cox is pinned there. If you go on the Cox Community Church page, uh, Cox Community Church of Dallas, Texas, you can the uh, it's pinned at the top there, the invitation the, to the live Zoom link. You can go in there. We'll also, we always put it out to Facebook so you can always watch us on Facebook as well. And if you're a part of the IPBS hub, you can get the invitation there. All right, so we just want to let everybody know then, then uh, every Sunday, 
Cox Community Church of Dallas, Texas serves you your morning service, and we start at 10.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. That's going to be 11.30 for you, for you all on the East Coast and 8.30 a.m. for you on the West Coast. And then our Sunday afternoon service starts immediately at the conclusion. We like to start about around 1 p.m. if the Holy Ghost uh, permits, and um, because we never quench him in the morning service. So around 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, going to be 12 noon for those of us here in the South. And again, it's going to be 10 a.m. for those of you on the West Coast. That's all your service is. Uh, if you are missing any of those, please reach out and we'll get you uh, all the times and get you uh, caught up there and get you aware. So we're excited. Lady Jen is going to take us further in the service. Again, if you have testimonies, please type them in the chat. Yes. Um, and if you know of anybody or the Lord placed anybody on your heart that needs prayer, again, this is a heal This is a season for healing. It is an open window for healing and for the joy of the Lord, which we've been expressing. Yes. So anybody that needs healing, anybody that needs the joy of the Lord, let's start to type their names in the chat. First Lady, I'm excited. What do you have for us, Yes, ma'am? I'm excited. We're going to open in prayer. And then if you guys have more testimonies, um, please type them in and we will share those. And then I will share what the Lord has put on my heart. And then the apostle will share as well. And then we will continue as the spirit of the Lord leads us. Amen. Fred Abney, we just thank the Lord for you, sir. And we bless the Lord for you coming in and all the saints and leaders around the country and, of course, the international community. Uh, we're going to go in prayer. Please uh, uh, continue to hit the re reaction buttons, except for when we're in prayer. Uh, after prayer, concluding prayer, please continue to hit the reaction buttons. If you're coming in, please share. This is going to help the message disseminate. Somebody needs Testimony Tuesday service on tonight. They need to hear the testimonies. They need to be encouraged. So we just thank the Lord for everybody. Please continue to share. And uh, Sister Selena, we thank the Lord yes. for you, ma'am. What a blessing to have blessing. you with us on tonight. And uh, saints, please continue to share the broadcast and share your testimonies. Anybody needs prayer in your family, co-workers, whoever the Lord lays on your heart that might need prayer, let's type their names in the chat because we're going to pray uh, at the end in the firepower of the Holy Ghost. All right. I'm excited. Let's go into prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you on tonight for Testimony Tuesday service and your leader, First Lady Jennifer Cox. Lord, we bless you for the First Lady. We bless you that we're all gathered together here. It is a time of relaxing in your presence and just hearing, talking about your mighty acts. Your word says in the book of Malachi, Lord, that there's a book in heaven written and remembrance for those that speak on your name, that talk about you and tell of your righteous and your holy acts and your mighty acts. Father, it's just such a privilege and an honor to see how you're blessing your children each and every day and even your mercy falling in this world. Your scripture says your mercy, uh, your rain falling on the just and the unjust. And, you know, I, I think of uh, the prophet Jeremiah, Lord, in, in uh, Lamentations when he said, this hour call to mind, therefore I have hope. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. And that's why, Father, we can say, great is thy faithfulness. And so, Father, we stand in your presence tonight, Lord. If there's anything that we've done, Lord, where we've sinned and we missed the mark, we ask, we confess our sins to you, Father. We ask that you forgive us in the firepower of the Holy Ghost. Cleanse and wash us that we may stand holy and clean before you, for we dare not stand in your presence and not have be clothed, in, uh, clothed uh, in and upon in your righteousness and your holiness. Father, have your way in this testimony service tonight. Lord, let your saints' hearts and minds come open to the mighty acts, and Lord, help us to rehearse the mighty things that you've done in the past, because our past is behind us, and we can glean from it. Our present is before us, and our future is out ahead of us, and all of it is bright, because you said that you'll work all things together for our good, and you also said that you know the thoughts that you think towards us, thoughts of peace, not of evil, to give us, to give us an expected end. So, Father, we bless you on tonight. Such a glorious time in your presence, and it is a high privilege and honor to stand in your presence as your children and be sealed by your precious Holy Holy Ghost. Lord, touch somebody tonight by the firepower of your Holy Ghost. Let your presence and your power be demonstrated here so laconically that everyone knows, Lord, that you're alive and well and that you're ready to aid and secure them in the day of salvation. Lord, somebody needs salvation on tonight. We've been praying for family members for a long time. And Lord, we are looking for that harvest to come in now. All those seeds that have been planted, all those seeds that have been watered. Lord, your word says you give the increase and we're in high expectation that our family members are going to start coming in and accepting salvation by repentance 
and receiving the baptism of the Holy Ghost by your grace. And so, Father, we've been praying for our co-workers. We've been praying for our family members near and far. We've been praying for our neighbors. Lord, we've been praying for our country. And Father, we have humbled ourselves before you. And Lord, you wondered where was your man and where was the intercessors. But Lord, you have your children in this seating on behalf of your purposes and your master plan in this earth. And so, Father, we thank you on tonight that your purposes are being carried out despite uh, the deathly amalgamation of humanism and Satanism. Your plans are being carried out despite the politicians in the White House. Your master plan is being carried out despite the bickering and the arguing amongst the nations, the economic ills and plights and the downfalls of the market. Lord, we thank you that you're in sovereign control and that there's no power on this earth that can pluck us out of your hand. And therefore, King David could declare, I have been young and now am old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor your seed begging bread. Father, we bless you on tonight. Throw your weight around in this testimony service, and we'll be careful to give you the glory and the honor for every testimony and every person that we pray over, because we know that you're going to do mighty works and mighty acts in their lives, which is going to generate more testimonies. Father, it's a privilege and an honor to serve you, and an even greater privilege and honor to love you and to know you. In King Jesus' name, we thank you, Father. Amen, amen. and amen. amen. All right, amen. saints, I'm excited. I hope I'm you're excited. excited. Lady yes. Jen's going to take us further. Yes. Please continue to share. Uh, Sister Naya. Asia, we bless the Lord we for you, ma'am. Saints, please continue to share. Somebody needs to hear the word of the Lord on tonight. Somebody needs to hear testimonies on tonight. And uh, please share your testimony. And we are carefully monitoring so that we can share those with the wider uh, body tonight. And please continue to type names in if somebody needs prayer on tonight. Open your hearts and your minds to think about what the Lord has done for you on this week, to think about what the Lord has done for you in the past. And then just let it fly in that chat. And we're going to share your testimonies to encourage the body of Christ on tonight. First lady. Yes. So last week, um, in our last period of sharing, um, we read in the book of Joshua, the testimony of Rahab. And I just wanted to quickly share some of the things concerning her testimony that the Lord shared with me and will hopefully strengthen someone else. And then I will share this week's scripture. Um, so last week we read about uh, Rahab the harlot who was the only one in Jericho, the, an idolatrous nation that heard and believed all that the Lord had done. And as a result of her belief, she told the spies to swear unto her by the Lord to save her and her family as she helped them. So in my walk with Christ, I live by this scripture in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And the scripture for this week is still in Joshua, chapter 1, verse 6 through 9. So I'm going to go ahead and read that. Um, Joshua, chapter 6, chapter 1, verse 6. Be strong and of good courage, for unto this people shalt thou divide for an inheritance the land which I swear unto their fathers to give them. And only only be thou strong and very courageous, that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law, which Moses my servant commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand and to the left, that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Whithersoever thou goest. And so being strong and of good courage was mentioned three times in this passage of scripture. And I, it really stood out to me. I believe that the Lord showed me this because the Lord knew that I would be weakened by my sin nature and lose courage in my walk with Christ. And so he gave me this so that I can be strong enough and of good courage to use this platform to share my testimony to strengthen others. So we must be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might 
when sharing our testimonies with others because our testimonies when coupled with strength and courage can give us you can give others strength and courage. So I just encourage everyone tonight to share their testimonies in the chat and their prayer requests. And then my husband's going to go ahead and share what it was was on his heart. Amen. We want to thank the Lord for uh, Red Diamond, uh, Stokes 3. Uh, we thank the Lord for you being with us on tonight. And uh, we just thank the Lord for all the saints. Please share as you come in. Somebody needs to hear. Uh, uh, somebody needs to be encouraged on tonight. And um, and we just thank the Lord. If there's somebody that needs prayer, we are going to pray at the conclusion of the service over everyone that you all type in the chat. So we want to begin to... Um, as a, as a uh, point of contact by faith to type their names in the chat. And uh, we believe that the Lord is going to begin to work in their lives. We're receiving so many testimonies where the Lord is working in the lives of those that we are praying for, praying over. Here at Cox Community Church of Dallas, Texas, we have an international prayer list. So we are all the saints here. We are always praying over that prayer list. Many of you are on our international prayer list. Mm -hmm. So we thank the Lord and we are always, we, we just believe in prayer here in Dallas, Texas. We believe in prayer. We've seen what the Lord will do when his servants are interceding and his children are humbling themselves. He said, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven. I will forget their sin and I will heal their land. And we just believe the word of the Lord. We are a word church. We are word people. Lady Jen and I love the word of the Lord. We, we grew up in the church. We grew up in the way of holiness and we strayed like everybody else is our testimony. You've heard it many times. But I thank the Lord because when I think back on my testimony of how the Lord's brought me and Lady Jen and I, even as a married couple, we share our testimonies with each other a lot. Mm -hmm. And um, we share our testimonies. We talk about the goodness of the Lord, how far he has brought us. And um, it's such a privilege and an honor to remember what the Lord has done for us. So we encourage everybody, even share your testimonies in your home with your children. Many of the things that I've gone through, I've shared with my children as they're going through. I shared my testimony. Transparency is critical to sharing your testimony. Now, there's some points and we do agree that necessarily you can't share and so you have to use wisdom depending on who you're sharing with yeah. and the Holy Ghost will lead you and that's why he's the one that is the paraclete that's called alongside to help us because he will allow us to understand what's what's pertinent and what's relevant and what's safe to share and so uh, we want to uh, not not lean to our own understanding, but just acknowledge him in our all of our ways, especially with our testimonies. He'll direct our path. So, First Lady, I, I'm going to share this with you, and it's amazing that because First Lady and I, you know, I, I don't talk to First Lady about what the Holy Ghost tells her. You know, whatever he tells her, that's what it's going to be, you know. But it's interesting, I was going throughout my day, and um, the Lord uh, just spoke to me concerning the scripture, and um and so lady jen can you give me um first give me uh psalms 119 and it's going to be uh the 36th verse psalms 119 and 36 and so um we just thank the Lord uh, for his grace and his mercy. While you're looking for that, Bishop V, our own bishop up there in the Tri-City area in upstate New York, he has a testimony. He said, we received prayer about going to school during the IPBS for master's and Ph.D. programs. I enrolled in school this week. To add to this, I went shopping for a book bag and... Uh, a $200 bag rang up for $30. Wow. wow. Bishop V, did, you, did the Lord bless you on that one, brother? Wow. Even the cashier commented on how cheap the bag was. I bet she did. I bet she did. Wow. And uh, I'm going to hit a few buttons I've already shared all across. Lady Jen and I, we're like serial sharers of everything, uh, uh, all things that, uh, you know, anybody's doing. So we've shared all across the broad broadcast, but I like to leave from out front. So I'm going to hit a few reaction buttons so the message can disseminate. That is amazing, Bishop V. And I'm going to, I'm going to share something with you. I have a friend, a prophet, and, uh, we hadn't seen him in a minute. So the Lord started touching Lady Jen's heart. This is my testimony because mm -hmm. it, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of right in the vein of yours, Bishop V. But Lady Jen, Lady Jen, the Lord started touching her heart. 
and she was asking, where's our friends, the prophets? Because we hadn't heard from them in a minute. And we're used to, you know, we've known them for a few years. And, and we're used to being in touch, you know, really, really in touch. So we, But we know that they pray and they consecrate as we do. But they're not pastors, so they're not on weekly like we are because we're pastoring um, a church. And... Um, and part of a, a, a overarching council, and so that, but they're prophets, and prophets, you know, they're not pastors, so they're not going to be on every week. So we were missing them, and the Lord started touching Lady Jen's heart. Where were they? So finally, you know, I put a call out. Finally, uh, uh, the husband calls me back, and come to find out, he's so busy because he's in school. So he rolled in school, uh, like you, Bishop V, and the Lord is blessing him, and um, you know, really blessing him, and. Um, Pastor Sheba's grace. <laughs> Pastor Sheba's. <laughs> uh, that thing is nice. He don't deserve it, Lord. You know. And uh, so, well, I'll say this, Pastor Sheba, whether he deserves it or not, he's going to need it going to school for uh, in a master's and a Ph.D. program because I did my master's and Ph.D. And I'm telling them books were thick. I mean, one was 750 pages. So he he going to need that bag. Now, what 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 I what I want to laugh about, Pastor Sheba, is what that bag's going to look like when he's finished. I don't mm -hmm. think it's going to be so nice because my bags were <laughs> done when I got finished. My bags, I had to get rid of them because they were beat up. And because um, you're talking two years for your master's, I only have one for my doctorate because I was in a, uh, uh, it's supposed to be two years, but the matriculating class, the GPA was so high, they let us do two years work in one year. But after that three years, that thing was beat up. I had to get rid of it. So the, <laughs> so what I'm going to be interested to see is what that bag looks like when he's finished with them four years of work. I don't think he's going to be able to keep it, but we'll see. I'll be interested to see. Mm -hmm. But uh, what a mighty testimony, yes. um, Bishop V. That is so mighty. And, um, I mean, look at the Lord. And um, and I thank the Lord. You know you know what I want to say here, Bishop V? I want to thank the Lord because here we are being faithful to the work of the Lord. We just came from the uh, Tri-City area running a uh, uh, evangelistic crusade. And, you know, when we take, I firmly believe, and I say this all the time, and uh, I believe the Lord, uh, Mother Marsha Chandler, we thank the Lord for you, ma'am. I just believe that when we take care of the Lord's business, Lady yes. Jen and I believe us down to our socks. Yes. If the Lord take care of our, we take care of his business, he is definitely yes. going to take care of ours. Yes. And he does. So I yes. thank yes. the Lord, Bishop V. That is such a mighty yes. testimony. Matter of fact, let me get my heart on that testimony. And mm -hmm. uh, we know people are going to see that testimony. Mm -hmm. So we thank the Lord and... Um, and, uh, well, I mean, just, just, just such a blessing. That is a blessing. But our friend, he's enrolled in school. You're enrolled in school. Everybody's going to school. I think Pastor Sarah Bailey testified that she's, um, going to school. So, it is school season for everybody, mm -hmm. and um, I, honestly, I'm going to be honest, you know what my testimony is? I'm glad I'm through school. <laughs> uh, I finished my PhD in 2008, and I'm just glad to be through school because, and I want to say this, yes, um, Sister yes. Selena, congratulations. Bishop V, that is a mighty accomplishment, mm -hmm. and um, Sister Amani, we thank the Lord for you, ma'am, yes. coming on, and um, so good to see you, and um, so I, I, I'm going to say something. I'm so glad I finish school because it is work blessings are work yes. and we say that although we've been saying that lately um in all of the churches blessing is work so uh but i thank the lord <clears throat> as we're in the ipbs that 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 prophetic word came forward and um blessed you and um oh sister selena look yes. at this she said let me let me catch it she said she's in semester yes. two yes. at suny and five days uh, no cigarettes. Wow. It's a start. Sister Amazing. Selena, it is a start. Is. Because, you know, we had testimonies of many people kicking cig yeah. uh, cigarettes yeah. and haven't touched them for decades now. And we're believing the Lord and praying for you, ma'am, that you're going to be the same, that you're not going to touch them um, for, mm -hmm. for the rest of your life um, so that you can be healthy and whole to enjoy your time in school mm -hmm. and the fruit of your labor once you finish. Because we all know when you get them degrees, you know, that money's going to be behind them degrees. Mm -hmm. And the saints need to be blessed. We want to be blessed. And the Lord has sent us prophecies that we're going to be blessed. So, Dr. Peace is with us. We thank the Lord for you, ma'am. Sister Lakeitha Lockridge, all the way out uh, next door to us in Louisiana. We thank the Lord for you, ma'am. And so, um, 
And so we just, uh, listen, uh, I, I tell you this, I, I'm so excited that y'all are going to school because we already know what's going to be on there. And we're going to pray and believe the Lord that you get the best spots, yes. the best jobs. Come on, we're going to pray over that tonight, mm -hmm. that you, that all of you going to school, that the Lord's going to bless you, going to be the best jobs, the best. Mother uh, Marsha Chandler, we thank the Lord for you, Mother, and um, that you caught up with us on tonight. And so, so just so happy to see you and all yes. the saints and all the uh, leaders uh from the contiguous United States of America and around the world. We thank the Lord for you. Dr. Peace, we're continuing to pray for Dr. Peace. Uh, she came through surgery nicely. Her rehab is coming nicely, and she is coming through quickly. And so we're excited about that. We're expecting, listen, we're praying overtime because we we miss Dr. Peace um, in her pulpit um, on Sunday afternoon and hearing the word of the Lord from her. So we're just so excited. Um, listen, I'll say this too. Mighty testimony. We were on the uh, fellowship roundtable on Sunday afternoon, and Bishop V was with Lady yeah. Jen and myself, along with Prophet Emmanuel Davis. If you missed that, listen, you want to go get that. The Holy Ghost moved. Yes, and uh, and uh, really moved, mm -hmm. and uh, we're still receiving testimonies of how that yes. service blessed everybody. I'm going to tell you, and um, we just, uh, Averian Hawthorne, we just thank the Lord for you being with us on tonight. Please continue to share, uh, leaders and saints, as you come in. Please continue to hit the reaction button, the reaction buttons. That's going to help the message disseminate. Yes. But from that uh, fellowship roundtable, oh man, we had our prophetic roundtable. Then we had our fellowship uh, roundtable. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Averian Hawthorne is a pastor. I believe he's a pastor. All right. Pastor Hawthorne, um, <laughs> sir, forgive me. I, I <laughs> don't know you personally, sir, but we always, we have a, um, we have a blessed uh, respect for all of our leaders. So we always want to honor everybody as they come in. And so we just um, thank the Lord for you, pastor. Uh, forgive me. I, I, you know, don't know you personally, so I didn't know you were a pastor. Thank you, first lady, for keeping me on point. And, um, uh, Pastor Sheba, it was phenomenal this Sunday. Yes, it absolutely it was. was. And everybody across the board gleaned. And, um, you know, I, what I thank the Lord for, because you know what's interesting to me, I got another testimony too, but it's kind of in reverse, is that I was listening to, uh, this, uh, uh, uh it's a Jewish, um, it was a Jewish um, nation, I think it's called Broadcast, is the name of the broadcast. And, you know, they were talking about how, you know, they, the, <laughs> The guy who was the commentator, he said, he said, first lady, he said, he said, I know we kept you a long time. We had only been on the broadcast 20 minutes. <laughs> you see, so I thank the Lord that we got strength and stamina in the North American Watchmen's Council because yes. we were on that fellowship round table over six hours the other yes, night we and no one moved. We were all blessed. We had our coffee. We had our juice. Mm -hmm. By the way, grab your coffee and grab your juice because I'm going to tell you something. I got mine right here and I've been sipping. Many of you saw Grab your coffee, grab your juice. We're just having a fireside chat. It's relaxed. Grab your water, whatever you like. And, um, so yeah, Sister Lakeitha, it was definitely a blessed round table. And guess what? We got another one coming, um, on Thursday night. That's right, Pastor Sheba. We have stamina. And I'm so glad that, um, uh, Sister Asia, we thank the Lord for you. Yes. That's Dr. Uh, Peace's daughter bless and a us. great worship leader. She led us in worship on Sunday. Yes. So we bless the Lord for her being with us. Listen, we do have stamina in this, in this, uh, uh, council. And I'm going to tell you, I thank the Lord for that because all this microwave service yes. lady jen and i do not do microwave service and none no. of the pastors in the council do microwave service lady jen and i have been praying for years together to be in service seven days a week if possible uh lord willing and we got six covered right now a strong six mm -hmm. Uh, or let me say a strong five. Prophet E normally has us on Friday or Apostle Annette might come in. So we got a strong five days of service. And uh, most of the time, somebody will catch a Friday. I think the Lord has blessed us to have Monday to rest. But Sunday was phenomenal. And we just thank the Lord on Sunday. And um, so many people reached out. What a blessing. We know it's going to bless many more people. If you missed that, please go on all our pages. It is long, but guess what? You can parcel it out. You can come watch 10, 15 minutes, go to work, do what yes. you got to do, watch another 10, 15 minutes. Neural Johnson, we thank the Lord for you, ma'am. What a blessing to have you on tonight. Please continue to share. Please continue to hit the reaction buttons. The message is going to disseminate. So, Psalms, Psalms, um, 
Psalms 119. Oh, by the way, since we're on Testimony Tuesday, we kicked off our North American Watchman's Council Business Information Hub today. Yes. All things business information, all your businesses. Mm -hmm. Professionally, uh, Bishop said, we did five to six hours and had more energy afterward than when we started. <laughs> Bishop, we said the same thing. Yes. We had the same thing. That is an excellent testimony because we felt the same way. Yeah. I mean, you just get rejuvenated when you're in the firepower of the Holy Ghost. I'm telling you, you get restored, you get lifted, you get encouraged. And that is so true, uh, Bishop, that we were absolutely on fire when we got off that broadcast. So listen, North American Watchman's Council Business Information Hub kicked off today. If you'd like to be a part of that, you have a business, you know somebody has a business. Now, Saints, I need to say this is a disclaimer, and it is in the hub. We are not supporting businesses that are not scriptural, okay? So no Planned Parenthood, nothing about killing babies and all the rest of that. No bars, no, you know, nightclub. You know, I know I don't necessarily have to say this because we govern ourselves accordingly here. But, you know, I'm more so saying this for because I know we got some unsaved counterparts that we're ministering to and they might come in. So, you know, let's do our best to kind of, and we do have all the disclaimers up there and all the rules of engagement. So, um, but uh, if you have a business, please reach out to any leaders. That's correct, Pastor Sheba. Please reach out to any leader in the North American Watchman's Council. We will get your business in that hub. You are free to put videos on business, teachings on business, article, article clips, videos, clips um, from any platform, all uh, magazine articles, it does not matter. You can put videos in there all things business. If you have digital business cards, please put those in there. Um, any pertinent information to your business, please get it in there because we are going to load this thing up with all information. Listen, another thing, if you are writing books, please get your book in there. We got yes. several books listed in there. Lady Jen has a Mary Kay business. We already got flyers in there listed for Mary Kay. Ladies, fun and pampering time. Please enjoy. Get your Mary Kay through Lady Jen. Lady Jen's also a real estate agent operating in the state of Texas and many Michigan and Pastor Sheba is locating our other realtor up there in upstate New York. Um, Lady Jen will also be uh, opening the doors there in upstate New York. Uh, I'm sorry, in the uh, in the state of New York, also to operate real estate amongst other states. So listen, and we have access to all things real estate. Even if you're in a state that we're not in, we have agents there, and we can uh, get re we can refer you and uh, to someone in your state that will work with you that is trusted and reputable. We are a part of a extremely reputable network with many vast years of experience and we can answer any questions. Um, Lady Jen's team, any questions. We have our own uh, real estate company fired up. So listen, we, we actually really do this. So if you know anybody needs a house, anything, please reach out to Lady Jen. Call the business line at 214-664-29. 2936. 2936. Mm -hmm. And uh, Lady Jen's going to take care of you, all right? Ladies, yes, you need yes. anything, Mary Kay, your makeup. I believe in makeup. I don't believe in a Tammy Faye Baker plastering it, but I do believe in the ladies being beautiful. So, you know what I'm saying, First Lady? So. <laughs> So all things Mary Kay, Christmas is coming, Thanksgiving is cr coming, uh, all of these, uh, you know, uh, and just, just to treat yourself during the week. So all things business, we're excited about the business hub. We have too many more hubs coming. And so we're, we are looking, uh, we, we have vision for the North American Watchman's Council. So, uh, Dr. Peace, the Mitchells, myself, uh, Lady Jen, we are all working to support your needs as members of the council. Okay. And so we're working. And listen, all of this is free, okay? It's all free. There's no excuse not to be in these hubs, not to have the information, everything we're going to make right at your fingertips. Again, if you're writing books, put that in there. Anything that you're doing business-oriented, put it in there. And um, professors, if you have anything, wisdom, knowledge, understand, anything, ad, uh, advice, anything that's going to help business leaders in any, jo any genre of business, please type it in there. Write to us. Let us know. School us. We want to know what.
what's we want to uh, 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 glean from your gift and 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 share in the gift that the Lord has blessed you because uh, there is much wisdom in this council. Let me tell you. And so Bishop V, business mind, Lady Jim, business mind, myself, Doctor Peace, Pastor Sheba, we got a ton of business minds in here. Sister Selena, I mean, we could go on and on and on. So all things business, North American Watchmen's Council Business Information Hub is live in effect. It is living and breathing. We thank the Lord. Now, let me share what the Lord simply laid on my heart. Psalms 119 and verse 36 says, Incline my heart unto thy testimonies and not to covetousness. Now, that doesn't mean that the Lord is not going to bless his saints, but money should not be our God. We know the teaching of the Lord Jesus. Uh, Niasia has another testimony. I'm going to let First Lady read in a second. But let me just simply say this. There's no preaching and teaching tonight. The Lord just laid this little short thing, this little short uh, touch on my heart. And that is when it says, incline my heart. And without me even knowing what the First Lady was going to talk about, uh, what the Spirit of the Lord touched her heart to talk about, let me say this, uh, that incline my heart is, uh, the image there in the Hebrew is the Lord, like you think of an incline bench in uh, weightlifting, that incline my heart is strengthening, the Lord is strengthening our hearts to his testimonies, unto his testimonies. So he is strengthening our heart to come together, much like you think of in a marriage, to bind together in a holy alliance with his testimonies. His testimonies meaning the mighty acts he's done in our lives and all the wonderful things that he's done for us over the years and will continue to do. Because as we alluded in the scripture earlier, he said, I know the thoughts that I think towards all of my children, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give us what, first lady, right? An expected end. Exactly. So we bless the Lord. I, uh, Sister Doreen Mosier, we thank the Lord for you, ma'am. We're still praying for Navia, uh, and we know the Lord's bringing her along mightily. We're still praying for Sister Omani's best friend, and um, and uh, checking in on him. So we thank the Lord. We are still praying for our family members and our saints and all of our loved ones and our close one. Lady Jen, you want to tackle um, Sister Niaja's testimony? Yes, I it, do. It, it looks thank super. You. Yes, it it looks super it's, duper already. Right. And thank you so much for sharing. It says, my testimony is about divine favor. There's been so much trying to get in my way, mess up my attitude, distract me from my purpose, and discourage me. But God, I should be dead, and I could even be in jail, but I'm still here. Amen. I have that testimony as well. I should have lost my mind, but I'm still here. I thank God for not taking his hand off me because where I should be, uh oh, where I should be, I, where was I? I'm still here. I thank God for not taking his hand off me because where I should be, I'm not. Some have went through less and, well, I have to screw up. And quit, even went crazy, but I haven't. Amen to that. I haven't either. I've been making divine connections. And God has literally taken the bill when it comes to me. And soon as I feel down, he shows me the, the pedestal he's lifted me up on. If you're reading this and feel like you're not worthy, and it is so, if you're, if you're wondering who can make a way out of no way, look towards the hill for which cometh your help. I serve a big God who's indescribable there's nothing impossible and there's nothing he can't do just hold on and wait on him sister niasia that. that's Thank like part so testimony part preaching man yeah, right? and i have to agree yes. I, <laughs> dr p said prayer changes everything it so changes true changes everything and i'll say Thank this so much uh sharing. pastor sheba said uh yeah. niasia monique wow. baby if we were in a building i would have took off in here <laughs> And I have to, I have right? to concur because <laughs> Sister and I, as you preach it, yes. you, you're giving a testimony, but it's like a preach testimony, right? right? Like, she's giving exactly. a preach testimony. Uh, and so, yes. uh, we thank I the Lord. That. that is awesome. And I think, I, I love your testimony, Sister and I, you, because there are aspects of it that I think all of us can relate to. Yes. And when you talk about losing your life and losing your mind, oh man, if I had the time. Yes. And I think many of us absolutely can concur how the Lord has kept us from certain death 
and how he has kept us from certain lunacy because life has a way of doing that to you. But uh, Sister uh, Niasia, we want to thank the Lord. The Lord kept you alive yes. and kept you sane Amen. and blessed you. And he Amen. is blessing you, yes, ma'am. He is blessing you. Yes. Sister Niasia has been out there evangelized. She's been out. She's getting ready to fire, fire a Bible study up. She's been yes. out there. Uh, she did all of the uh, youth's hair to send them back yes. to school and Satan was trying to fight her, but we was praying against that joker yes. and um because he was trying to uh, afflict her hands but the yes. devil is a lie and he's still a lie and he'll always be a lie so we thank the lord for that testimony sister niasia because i'm going to tell you i mean i i don't know whether to jump out the window cry or run because i remember i'm thinking back right now my mind's rolling back to how the mm -hmm. devil tried to take me out quite yes. a few times and you know what was sad i didn't even care and i think that's worth saying in our testimonies yes. that not only did he try to kill us and not only did he try to um, drive us crazy, mm -hmm. many of us just gave up hope and didn't care anymore. Yeah, and I was I in that place. Yeah. And so the Lord, right, First Lady? Yeah. The Lord yeah. helped us. He mm -hmm. touched us and helped us care again. He made us new creatures in Christ Jesus. And we that means we, you know, our minds are transformed. I started to care again, you know, and especially I thank the Lord for that because many of us had children. You know, we need to, so we needed to get it together for our children. Mm -hmm. We needed to get it together for our spouses. You know, I was a young father. Father, a young husband, mm -hmm. and uh, I thank the Lord. He encountered me at 18 years old, turned me around, and I'm telling you, I'm so thankful. And I'll tell you another reason I'm thankful, First Lady, because had he did not got me then and turned me around, I would not be able to do what I'm doing today, mm -hmm. leading this outfit and working with, be so blessed to work with all of yes. you and be with all of you. I would not be able to do what the Lord's so given me, and um, I, 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 who, I, I should have been up under the jail. Uh, key thrown away for the remainder of my life. So mm -hmm. I, I'm super excited to be She's free and to be free in the Lord, you know, to not just not only be first lady, you know, a spiritual captive, mm -hmm. but I could have been a natural captive. Yes. So I'm thankful not to be a natural captive, you know, mm -hmm. so we thank the Lord and, um, um, <laughs> Sister Niasia said, we got to take it old school because when I think of the goodness of Jesus, yeah, you better stop, yes. Sister Niasia, because you, see, you, you got a preach spirit coming on now. Amen. And right? we just, we just declare we wasn't going to preach and teach. And, um, but Sister Niasia got to preach. I'm, mean, she about to make somebody run up out of right. If I had my towel, I'd throw it at the screen, Sister Niasia. I'm telling you right now. So, um, so, so please right. continue to share everybody. Please yeah. continue, uh, to type the names in if anybody needs prayer. There is an open window of heaven. Many of you might have missed that early. There's an open window of heaven. We've been declaring it all week long uh, for the and, and last week. There's an open window of healing for healing and there's an open window for the joy of the Lord. And so last week as we prayed, uh, Brother Gregory uh, read, um, Lassier, we thank the Lord for you, sir, coming in. Last week, we did the Holy Ghost. Listen to me. On Thursday night prayer, the Holy Ghost gave me a word on the joy of the Lord and then we prayed the joy of the Lord down here from heaven onto earth. If you missed that, it is up on our YouTube page. It's all over everybody mm -hmm. else's pages. And so please go and you want to go get that word. It was a magnanimous word before we had prayer. And then we came on and the Mitchells and Prophet E brought out the heavy artillery last Thursday on the prophetic round table and we were blown away. If you missed any of that, just go on all the broadcast, on all the pages. It's all over there and you want to get that. So we thank the Lord and uh and we praise the lord and so let's continue to type the names in the chat um please reach out to us uh with your testimonies during the week and we are going to make sure they get on the broadcast uh during our testimony uh service on tuesday night also if you want to be in our brand new north american watchman's council business information hub please reach out to all the leaders in this chat you got bishop verrill and pastor sheba mitchell myself and the first lady dr peace is an admin she can get you on there please reach out to any of the leaders we are going to get you in that business information hub because we want your business to be hot highlighted yes. we want it to be seen and please do not let's follow the word of the lord saints the word of the lord says despise not the day mm -hmm. of small beginnings this is a brand new hub but we already got two fired up they're informing the saints our kingdom embassy hub if you like to be that's all things north american watchman's council and all our churches our ipbs hub gives you all access free access to our ipbs our international prophetic bible study on saturdays free access listen get in the hubs be a part show up be a part 
And, um, and so all things business is in our newly established North American Watchman's Council Business Information Hub. We want to thank uh, First Lady Jen, the Mitchells, Dr. Peace. We want to thank that our whole crew for making that happen. Dr. Peace got our North American Watchman's Council uh, business group fired up. If you want to be a part of that group, please reach out to her or myself or the First Lady. We'll get you in the group. And then we have our information hub for you. Again, reach out to all of us. We'll get you in that hub and we'll get you in the group. We want your businesses to be seen. Oh my Lord. Thank you, Dr. Peace, for sharing that. Dr. Peace said my stitches taken out today. I was recasted, but I'm coming along just fine. The Lord is the greatest. Thank you for your prayers, yes. Dr. Peace. We are shouting. We're excited yeah. because Lady Jen declared Dr. Peace was going to be walking like yes. nothing happened to her. No, no cane, cane no, no cane. handicap uh, wheelchair, no nothing. Dr. Peace is going to be walking like nothing yes. ever happened to her. And we thank the Lord. And and Dr. Peace has only been out of surgery like a, what, two weeks? So mm -hmm. the Lord is like rapid fire in the healing yeah. because we are praying for our own yeah. Dr. Peace and we're going to continue to pray. Dr. Peace, all of us are calling your name up, yes. I mean, around the clock. So we just bless the Lord. Again, please continue to share. If somebody lays, uh, if the Lord lays somebody on your heart for prayer, please type them in the chat because we're going to pray over them and we believe the Lord as a point of contact of faith in the chat is going to begin to work in their lives. All right, Lady Jim. I'm just excited yes. about testimony service. I'm excited. I'm so thankful <laughs> the Lord the Lord chose you to bring it back because yes. we were like hungry for it. We were missing it. Many of us were talking about that and um and and we just um we just thank the Lord that testimony yes. service yes. is back. I am so mm -hmm. excited. Lady Jen, any, you you have anything else for us? Anything? I do want to encourage you guys to share more of your testimonies on your feed and to go live and share testimonies and then you can reach out to us and eventually we're going to have some more people on and share with us we're going to we're trying to figure out how to invite people on here without it with without um it zooming in on our faces so we're going to try to figure that out and then um mm -hmm. and last time i had someone on it said to invite but i haven't seen I haven't seen that again. And so we're going to try to figure that out and then have some more people on um, to share their testimony. Oh, yeah, live. We're going to allow you guys to come on. Uh, yes. I think Lady Jen and I figured out that Facebook is having some trouble because we were yes. we were doing a conference. You remember Lady Jen with mm -hmm. uh, Prophet uh, Daishan Gore and Prophet Nahum Dansuli. We were having trouble mm -hmm. uh, with Facebook then getting everybody on, and so we had to resort to Zoom. So, you know, uh, but we're going to try to figure this out. They're allowing us to invite up to three people, but it's for some oh, reason, yeah. it's, it's definitely Facebook because it never happens on anything else with you. Yeah, right? right. So, because what we're trying trying to do is we want you guys to be able to rapid fire come on share your testimony live and uh and we can and we just start bringing everybody in yeah. for live sharing that that that's going to kind of cut down on the need to type so much in the chat i i am not a typer and um, so I like to just say it out of my mouth. So that's a blessing that we know would be blessing to you. So we're going to work on that. We're going to figure that out. Thankfully, we got Lady Jen because she is all things technical. So we bless the Lord for her. Lady Jen, any any um, any testimonies am I missing? Did anybody say anything to you and I? Because people are always talking to us. And well, we were talking about um, Bishop Verrill, and he saved a few hundred dollars <laughs> on his <laughs> right. bag. I had a testimony from... Um, a few testimonies concerning saving not just, you know, a couple of hundred dollars, but even more, several hundred dollars on just day-to-day -day things like um, um, just day-to-day -day, um, getting your hair fixed and um, just different things like that. Um, and it was some a couple of other testimonies that I received, but just I believe that the Lord is, is here and he's um, walking with us and... And I do want to encourage everybody, like I said before, just to be strong um, and be of good courage. Oh, yeah. And it sounds like First Lady the Lord is just blessing the saints all across the board. All across I, the board. I think so yes. much we're trying to keep up, but it's yes. a little difficult because we're like getting them multiple times a yes. day. 
And I want to thank the Lord because uh, the Lord is working in our marriages. We're getting testimonies on marriages, how the Lord is working in marriages. The Lord is definitely working in Lady Jen and I's marriage. And um, so we're praying for marriages. The Lord wants the Watchman's Council to have strong marriages, yes. one and done marriages. Wow. And I'm telling you right now, I am proclaiming it right now. Somebody can type it in the chat. We are going to have golden anniversary yes. uh, marriages by the truckloads in our council. We're going to have them by the hundreds, by the thousands, by the ten thousand by the will of the Lord and silver anniversaries that's 25 years 50 uh, is golden anniversaries we're going to have a ton of golden anniversaries one and done we are especially praying for our young people Lady Jen and I have both been through divorce if you missed this uh, Mitchell's uh, prophetic roundtable on divorce uh, we were teaching on divorce please go and get that it's up on our YouTube channel just type my name in you can get that and um we're going to have, yeah. that's right, Pastor Sheba, we are going to have, yeah, let me heart that too. I'm right with you first. <laughs> I'm right with you um, yeah. on that one. We're going to have golden anniversaries. Oh, yeah, let me hit a few uh, on here too. Let me hit a few reaction buttons because we like to lead from out front. So we're going to have uh, silver anniversary marriage. We're going to have golden anniversary marriage. We're looking for them goldens. And there's going to be no backsliding up in here and cheating and doing all this weird mess. We are walking in holiness. We are demanding it of ourselves. We are demanding that uh, by the Spirit of the Lord that He grace us with, with holiness so that our families stay together, our children um, see uh, have their mother and their father the whole entire time while they're they're growing up, and if we show them strong marriages and healthy marriages, the likelihood is, and I am a product of generational healthy marriages, um, and so, uh, you know, they're more than likely, uh, when they see us having healthy marriages, they yes, are they going will. to have, exactly, yes. First Lady, they're going to have them too. So, um, Dr. Peace, yes, we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony, testify to the glory of God. I love the word that the Lord gave you, First Lady, because because you know what? So many times we, um, you know, the joy of the Lord we were talking about last Thursday in the prayer is our strength. And we need that. We need, you know, when you talk about strength and courage as it relates to testimonies, many times I don't think we associate them two together. No. But we need strength. There is great strength and courage that comes from sharing our testimonies. No. I'm telling you, especially when you're going through, you and I have been there. You're going through, your heart is broken, you're feeling down, and your thoughts are discombobulated. And and you might even be double-minded and confused or whatever the case may be. It is nothing like sitting with your brothers and sisters and receiving strength and courage. It's like literally when we share our testimonies with each other, especially when we're going through something, mm -hmm. it's like um, that the Lord is blowing his pneuma right in the midst of the... Yeah. Of the, of the conversation. So we want to encourage, let's overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimonies. I thank the Lord for that. So powerful, Dr. Peace. And that is our banner scripture for testimony service yes, on Tuesday night. Scripture. It is our banner scripture and uh, First Lady firmly established that in the hand of the Lord for testimony service. Uh, if anybody has any more testimonies, please continue to type them in. Please continue to uh, uh, place anybody in the chat that needs prayer and I'm going to tell you, uh, there was a wonderful testimony uh, that came, uh, I believe, by way of the Mitchells. You remember, First Lady, where there was a young lady who took a bus, I believe, if I remember correctly, and turned it into a mobile. Yeah. Remember that? A nail hair salon. salon. I yeah. it was a nail oh, a salon. nail salon. That's I right. You're right. A, a nail was. salon. And uh, I mean, so awesome. She turned it into yeah. a nail salon. And I believe it was Pastor Sheba that. that was sharing that, right? I and um, so. who else seconded it? I think Prophet E may have seconded it. And did. someone else seconded it. And, um, yeah. and they said she's doing phenomenal. What an amazing yeah. testimony. Yeah. And what a testimony to amazing ingenuity, yeah. by the way, that you would take a bus and turn it into a nail salon. And so Pastor Sheba just confirmed that. Yeah. So um, amazing testimony. You know, yeah. there's so many coming. We're trying to do our best to remember them all as the Spirit of the Lord is uh, bringing them to our remembrance. But um, just an amazing time in the Lord. And um, so, uh, listen, prayer is the foundation of testimonies. Yes. 
If we are going to have more testimonies in the in the council, we are going to have to be a praying people. You know what I thank the Lord? We are a praying people. And I put Bishop V and uh, Prophet E on spot on the fellowship roundtable on Sunday afternoon service. And I said that I said to them in two different measures, do you believe that the North American Watchmen's Council is living up to the mandate of the Lord in those two respects? If you missed that, again, it's on all of our pages. It was in our uh, Sunday afternoon service where we're in Aegis with uh, Dr. Peace right now as she's coming through. Uh, we are covering her pulpit. And uh, and so they said, listen, the council is definitely, this is our leaders, is definitely living up to the mandate of the Lord. So we thank the Lord for Bishop Vero Mitchell. We thank the Lord for Prophet E, Emmanuel Davis, and Lady Kiara Davis. Um, they, our men of God, affirm, and First Lady was with us, they affirm that the council is living up to the mandate that the Lord has set for us. So I'm so excited about that to know that I'm not a part of any, uh, I love what Lady Jen posts a lot. She'll post where it says Mark safe from sugar-coated preaching mm -hmm. and apostate mm -hmm. preaching. So I, I'm so thankful, Lady Jen, that we're in a council where, you know, um, we don't have to worry about that, you know, that, that all of the leaders are hearing the Holy Ghost yes. and we are... Um, uh, we are hearing the Holy Ghost, and uh, and we're receiving a rhema word, not a regurgitated, yeah. rehearsed, sermonized word. We don't sermonize here yeah. in our churches. We are delivering a rhema word, and I love it because even those of us that are married, we will turn away from each other to the Holy Ghost and still come out lined up with the same word. And that shows that the Holy Ghost is truly amongst us. So that's a mighty testimony right there that the Holy Ghost is in the North American Watchmen's Council. He is speaking to us. Everyone has to, is on their face with their face turned towards the Lord. And he is blessing us to come up with uh, uh, with his mind and his heart. Is there? A, listen, they are uh, leaders. They are lighting that hub up. I'm telling you, I got notifications coming through here. They are lighting right. that hub up, and we are loving it. We're enjoying it. Please continue to share the broadcast. Please mm -hmm. continue uh, to hit the reaction buttons. I'm going to hit a few more while I'm standing here. Mm -hmm. And um, so, First Lady, you have anything else for us? Again, please continue to share your testimonies if you have them. Listen, we're going to we're gonna put them out there, and uh, we're going to make sure all the people are aware of them. And um, so, little fireside chat. That's all, Lady Jen. She envisioned this just being relaxing, and you know, and um, she's leading us. And uh, uh, Doctor P said, "Amen." The North American Watchmen's Council is changing lives and raising up the next generation of leaders of all ages. So true, Doctor P said. I think that was firmly established yes. um, on uh, during the uh, "I Give You Peace." Uh, it was our Youth Sunday service. We had yeah. three generations represented three there. Generations. Three generations. That was awesome. Myself, uh, again, Bishop Vero, and uh, and Prophet Emmanuel Davis. I'm about 10 years older than, uh, uh, close to 10 years older than Bishop V. He's close to 10 years older, or maybe, you know, he's about 10 years from Prophet Emmanuel. I'm about 20 years from Prophet Emmanuel. Three generations of full-blown leaders, men of God, who love the Lord, love His Word, and have uh, a mastery ability to teach the word. It was so exciting. We just let our hair down, so to speak. It, there was no preaching. There was no teaching. We were just discussing like three generals, um, the word of the Lord. It was amazing. And the Holy Ghost truly showed up again. If you missed that, it's all over our pages. Uh, we have it on our YouTube page for you, uh, with the intro and the outro. Lady Jen does her best to make sure all of the videos are precise and they're, and they're nice for you. So we thank the Lord. Listen, on our YouTube page, if there is anything that that you need to know in the gospel. We have over 300 videos on there going towards four, year, four years worth of teaching videos to anywhere from two to six hours long is the average video on there. So you got more than enough teaching. We got teaching on the prophetic timeline, the world historic timeline, national, international, you name it. Uh, there's everything in there. Uh, and there is a strong uh, prophetic uh, revelation to every message that it is mm -hmm. those messages are high yeah. prophetic import and we're not talking about prophecies that are vague we're talking pinpoint accurate and they are carrying us we have prophecies in there leading us up to 2030 and even as far as 2035 so far we are a blessed people yeah. we are blessed council we have the word of the lord dwelling amongst us kingdom embassy is a company of prophets, 
on fire for the Lord. We had all night prayer and shut in testimony uh, Tuesday service. We got testimony service back. We had all night prayer and shut in. If you missed that, it was about two Saturdays ago. It is up on everything. Go to Kingdom Embassy. We have it up on our YouTube page. It's all over Dominion House of Restoration. Any one of the churches, this is on our pages. So please, you want to go get that. We were praying from 12 uh, a.m. Eastern Standard Time to about 6 a.m. And then all of us laid down. And guess what? First Lady, you know, everybody was diligent. We were right back in the IPBS. Right. We are a people that love the Lord, love his word. We are not about religion or traditionalism. We are about the firepower of the Holy Ghost in real time. We have rhema word every time we come together. Tonight's no different. We thank the Lord for you leading us on tonight. Um, firstly, it's such a privilege and honor to um, assist you, because normally you're assisting <laughs> me. So it's such a privilege and an honor. Um, first Lady, anything else for us? I do want to say thank you to all of the saints that have reached out to me in the past week or so, encouraging me and strengthening me. And I want to say that um, I was I was definitely encouraged and strengthened by um, a, by you guys and some of the testimonies that came in. And I want to encourage you guys also to um, now that we are sharing our testimonies and being free um, from the sin nature and focusing more on our walk with Christ, we have to stay that way. And so just continue to share your testimonies and I'm doing that as well and and we're doing that through our walk with Christ through sharing our testimonies encouraging and strengthening each other and I just appreciate all of you guys that have reached out to me this week amen amen I personally want to I personally want to uh thank everyone I solicit prayers for first lady and you listen we are praying people and your prayers just lifted first lady so high the enemy has been trying to attempting to attack her as uh you know how it goes anytime we start something uh and we obey the lord satan's immediate first uh round is to attack us and try to discourage us try to dislodge us try to run us over whatever he could do to stop because he knows that what we're doing in this council is the work of the lord truly and it is blessing many many people around the country and around the world so i i just want to ask first lady's husband not so much as an apostle but as the first lady's husband thank you all for praying for her because i immediately saw the difference and knew that you were all praying in her it broke the attack of satan uh in and upon her life satan took off running mm -hmm. and um thank you for helping me pray for our first lady yes. and it's so awesome to see her again on today with us leading us she is going to continue to lead us in our testimony service uh services on tuesday night mm -hmm. um dr peace says you want to read that one first yes lady? dr peace uh let's see today young women in the rehab surrounded me it was crazy i said look at jesus they are attracted to the light of the Lord and asking questions. Many of these young women say they don't believe and are say they don't believe and are spiritual but not religious. What a what a mighty testimony, Dr. Peace. That's awesome. Yes. That is awesome. That's what that's what testimonies are all about. That's what we're that's what creates our testimonies is situations like that that the Lord places his children in. And then the scripture says that we are as bold as a lion. And so, you know, when we are in there and we let our light shine, the scripture says they are going to see our good works and glorify our Father in heaven. Dr. Peace, an amazing testimony. Uh, Bishop V said, thank the Lord for his, he said, thank God for his delivering power. Yes. So true. Um, Bishop V, I got to put a heart on that. I love that, sir. Uh, Sister Niasia said, we're stomping on the devil's head. We love you, Lady Jen. You stay encouraged. Thank you, Sister yes, Nye Asia, and we Thank love you, you too. Uh, Sister Lakeitha Lockridge said, amen. amen, glory to God. Uh, absolutely, Sister Lakeitha, I'm going to tell you, the, I, 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 I love the theme that the Lord gave Lady Jen tonight. There's a theme in the word of the Lord, and that is, let us be strong, let us be uh, have courage and encourage um, 
Dr. P says, uh, praying for you, Lady Jen, no weapon formed against you no shall weapon. prosper. See, this is why I love being amongst all of these firepower of the Holy Ghost leaders because all of them know the word and they can flip these heavy artillery scriptures out at any time. Mm -hmm. And so, Lady Jen, we love you. We thank the Lord. You know I love you with every fiber of my being. And I thank the Lord for you leading us on Tuesday night. This is such an important service yeah. and we bless the Lord for you. Yeah. And, um, so just, uh, just, uh, we're, we're just having an awesome time in the Lord. Please continue to share. Somebody needs the word of the Lord on tonight. We're just kind of lingering a little bit, giving uh, opportunity for the Holy Ghost to touch our hearts. And, uh, we don't want to rush the Holy Ghost or quench him, uh, so that, uh, mm -hmm. if anyone, uh, has more testimonies or, uh, or if you have, requests. or prayer requests, Lady mm -hmm. Jen set the, uh, the rules of engagement at the outset. If anyone has prayer requests, anybody needs prayer, if it's not you and you have family members, please type their name in the chat because we always end in prayer. We are going to end this in prayer and we're going to pray over all of our family members. We're going to pray over all of our council members who are going, who are in school. We are also going to pray over all our youth and we are also going to pray over all of our business leaders because guess what? The Lord desires to bless the council and all the churches in it. He desires um, mm -hmm. to bless us. So um, we just thank the Lord. And um, uh, there was something I was thinking about that kind of escaped my attention. But I'm asking the Holy Ghost uh, to 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 bring it back to me. Um, but we just thank the Lord. And um, Lady Jen and I actually really have fun with... Uh, uh, with the testimony service yes. as we're leading up to it we just have fun and we're laughing and we're remembering um and uh oh absolutely dr peace that that is worth repeating right there dr peace said congratulations to bishop v and pastor sheep on being installed as the first bishop of the north american watchman's council yes. and i will Amen. add an addendum to that uh dr peace if yes. i may please ma'am is dr uh bishop vero is also the first bishop in that tri-city area within about safely 65 years. And so the Lord has done something that I don't think many people realize, and many do, but he is, that's a testimony right there, a magnanimous testimony, and... Um, the Lord is uh, the Lord is doing something so magnanimous, something so unusual. And um, Sister Doreen, oh look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Her granddaughter was on the news. That's a newscast there. Oh wow! And uh, and so uh, Sister Doreen's granddaughter, twenty hour surgery comes out. Wow. Throwing up the peace sign from all of us praying. Mm -hmm. The Lord answered us. Hallelujah. She is on the news right here. Sister Doreen just sent this. Mm -hmm. And she is eating. She is up. She is doing well. Mm -hmm. And um, we're not going to tell Sister <laughs> Navia's business. Mm -hmm. But if you understood how life-threatening that surgery was... To see her in the condition she is in, to, and she is in excellent condition for where she is in the process, man, listen, a miracle, a miracle, a miracle, mm -hmm. and um, nothing short of a miracle. We, I mean, we're looking, people ask all the time, well, where's the power of God like it was in the first century church? Where's the miracles? Where's the healing? Where's the deliverance? You know what I, You know what we're telling them? You know what Lady Jen and I are telling them? You know, Lady Jen, we're telling them, listen, we don't know what goes on on your side of the fence and in your place in the vineyard, but over here, miracles of healing, power, deliverance, come on, and the firepower of the Holy Ghost are going on over here. We are receiving miracles of healing, of deliverance, of all kinds, in the mind, in the body, okay, in the pocketbook, in your spiritual power and authority. Come on, the Lord is delivering in all manners on in our in this uh, place in the vineyard, and uh and uh and on our side so we thank the lord thank you for sharing that with us sister doreen what a mighty testimony um we are looking at her granddaughter she is up she is moving around she is uh you know taking care of her business and what i loved about her now you know the lord kicked it up a notch she could have came out of that surgery belly aching mm -hmm. and talking crazy and grumpy mm -hmm. she comes out of there smiling lady and jen and i saw her coming out of there smiling throwing up the peace sign 
sign. So, um, you know, absolutely, Bishop, the signs of the Lord are following us because we believe. That is so true. And Mark, the 16th chapter, says these signs would follow us that yes. believe. Okay? We believe they should be following us. Yeah, and these do. signs and wonders, the Lord, the word says that he would... Um, that these signs and wonders would follow the preaching of his word. When you give a word from the Lord, miracles, signs, and wonders, that's right, Sister Niasia, should follow the preaching of the word, the teaching of the word, the ministering of the word. We are a teaching, preaching, praying people, and the signs and miracles and wonders are following us. And I'll, tell, I'll kick it up a notch based upon the words you shared tonight. We, we expect that. So you have to have an expectation. Mm -hmm. You know, First Lady, that the Lord is going to do mighty things. We have an expectation from the Lord that he's going to do uh, mighty things. Um, you want to read that right there? Yes. Uh, Dr. Peace just put in there, babe. Yes. God bless Sister Asia on stepping up to assist in worship. When she is called on, the North American Watchman's Council baby is fitting for this young teenager. Yes, it is. Absolutely. Yeah, we and bless she, the Lord for Sister Asia. We bless the Lord yes, for her because she, cause she is job. saving us on Sunday yes. afternoon service. Let yes. me tell you. And she is leading us in worship. Yes. And we thank the Lord. Lady Jen jumped in. She is reading our scriptures on Sunday um, afternoon service. They are assisting me wonderfully. And I need it because we are all things counsel. We are serious. We are working full time in the ministry, Lady Jen and I. Mm -hmm. And we are working behind the scenes. And you guys see us on all the time. I assure you the work we're doing behind the scenes is triple what it is when you see us on the scene. So we are working behind the scenes. We're going about working quietly so that we can get a lot of work done on behalf of the council. Dr. Peace is doing the same. Um, Pro Prophet E is doing the same. The Mitchells are doing the same. And um, and this is why, listen, we're working behind the scene. But I'll tell you what I love. I got another testimony first, lady. I got another testimony. <laughs> You know what my testimony is? I love the fact that we, and we were talking about this today, Lady Jenna. Mm -hmm. I love the fact, First Lady, that the leaders in this council are mm -hmm. family. Yes. They are family. We are family. Because even outside of the pulpit, we spend time together. You know, we went, we came up to the Tri City area. We're running They're crusades and oh, absolutely yes. hospitable. Made sure Lady yes. and Jen and I didn't want for mm -hmm. anything so that we could do the work of the Lord. Yes. And Pastor Sheba jumped on that mic and led us in worship. Dr. Peace made sure that we were never off schedule for any event. And um, Sister Amani and uh, we had a professional photographer, uh, was uh, 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 Minister uh, Teresa's son. And um, so we just, I, I, I'm telling you, and Prophet E and Pastor Sheba led us in worship during Bishop Verrill's installation yes, service. Pastor Aubrey yeah. and Pastor Sarah Bailey were uh, leading the worship team right along with them, all the musicians. Um, so we just came together power pack time in the Lord. The Lord blessed us to have the budget we needed to get everything done and then some. So he blessed us with the budget. He blessed us with an abundance. So we thank the Lord that this council and its members, they are our family in the body of Christ. They are our family and, and comrades in uh, serving the gospel. You know, first lady, it kind of reminds me in the word of how the first century apostles were and the prophets yeah. evangelist teachers. Mm -hmm. That fivefold, they were not just comrades in the gospel, they were family. Yeah. And that's why they could say, that's why the apostle Paul could write and say, greet all the saints there with a holy kiss. Yeah. Because they were all family. And we, Lady Jen and I, consider all the saints and the leaders in the council family. Uh, you all have blessed us in so many ways. There was so much support out there. Uh, the Mitchells were out there, the young, mm -hmm. the millennials were out there, Z was out their ex we're all praying uh preaching teaching prophesying laying hands uh evangelizing slinging that gospel how many know evangelism means to sling the gospel it means to herald it which is a literal slinging of it in the world so we were not cute about it because the term evangelism which comes from the latin root evangel means to sling like king david slung those smooth stones and caught goliath right in the center of his head guess what we're slinging the smooth stones of the gospel Gospel, catching demons in their head and yes. so dr p says um praise she god says, north american watchman's mm -hmm. council a circle of leaders who have been taking the stand for holiness 
sound doctrine and evangelism. That's absolutely okay. right. And that's one of the things that okay. those are the key markers of this family, the key markers of the council. And listen, we pray for each other. Yes. We are working together to get the work of the Lord done. And we are serious about it. Yes. And we, and have, we have more people that are coming into the council. We have more people coming yes. into the council. They are contacting Lady Jen and I. And guess mm -hmm. what? This council is international. We got leaders all over yes. the world. Pack a Pakistan, India. Uh, we have, we got, we even have countries. We had to get the globe out in the office <laughs> to figure out where they are. Is how many people are coming mm -hmm. in. And we yeah. also have, uh, we have uh, our pastors in Pakistan, Kenya, Africa, Nigeria, Ghana, uh, Uganda. Uh, so we got a East Africa, North, South, West, you name it. And, um, and of course, in other parts of the world. So the Lord is blessing um, uh, uh, the council. And Lady Jen and I are excited. Uh, so things are going on here in Dallas, Texas. We are getting movement. So look forward to some things in the days ahead as we make announcements. We're reaching out to leaders around the country for 2024 for evangelistic crusades in other states here in North America. We're receiving invitations to other parts of the world for evangelistic crusades and for us to come and to raise up their leaders and to ordain and install leaders in many other churches around the world. The council, listen, they're reaching out to us. They are taking note. They are seeing what the Lord is doing with us. I was on the phone the last several days with the bishop out of South Africa discussing things. So listen, they are coming. They are coming and they are hungry for the Lord. They are tired of the fake. That's yes. another testimony mm -hmm. that many are giving us. Is that right, yes, First Lady? <laughs> they are tired of the fake. Mm -hmm. They don't want any more of the fake. They are tired of wishy-washy leaders and little weird leaders that don't want to live holy. They are tired of it, especially our young people. Dr. Peace had us on two mm -hmm. youth roundtables, and the youth were telling us, we're sick of the phoniness, mm -hmm. we're sick of the fakeness, we don't want it anymore, we need to see real, authentic... Yeah, and the compromising. And the compromising, yeah. exactly, First Lady. They want to see us living holy, living right, mm -hmm. and not compromising. And so we bless the Lord because in this council, we have endeavored to live in holiness. I love Isaiah, the 35th chapter. Mm -hmm. uh, Lady Jen is one of our favorite passages. Mm -hmm. It says there's a way, there's a highway there and a way, and it shall be called the way of holiness. Mm -hmm. And the unclean shall, you and I know the way of holiness. Trust mm -hmm. me, in this council, we know the way of holiness. And it says the unclean should not pass over it. Even though the wayfaring man is there, he is hit he, and he's a fool, he is not going to err therein. But I love what it says after that. It says right around, you get to about that 8, 9 verse, it says that the redeemed of the Lord walk there and the ransom of the Lord sing the songs of Zion there. That reminds me of the council. Yeah. There's a testimony mm -hmm. right there. Reminds me of Isaiah, the 35th chapter. So we are thankful. And uh, Lady Jen, Mother Marcia, you want to read her? Uh, you want to read her comment? there? Yes. Pray for our young men and boys. Pray they will put down their guns and raise up their pants. Pray they will receive fathers in the gospel. You're good. And becoming mighty men of valor in the name of Jesus. Yes. Mother Marcia, Amen. thank you for sharing thank that. You, Lord. Um, yes. That is so absolutely yes. apropos to our time. And I'm going to tell you something, Mother Marcia. When we came up to that Tri City area, especially over there, we were uh, evangelizing in Swinburne Park. Mother Marcia, if you missed those videos, grab them. If you got, because Mother Marcia, you were surrounded by great young men. Uh, Mother Marcia has many sons, all of which whom I know. All of them are, many of them are preachers and leaders in the church. Church, and we just thank the Lord. So, Mother Marcia, uh, if, if you find those videos, we were in Swinburne Park because all of us are aware over in that 1st, 2nd, 3rd Street area, if I'm not mistaken, many of our young men have been killed. I have <clears throat> taken a personal hit over there myself with the young man that I used to be his barber for many years, know his whole family, just was ministering to him at one of the great pastor's churches there, family, and fun day, he just got out of lockup, mm -hmm. still had a tether on his leg and then um, you know, he, he was listening. He was always respectful. But a couple days later, him and a young man got into a scuffle over a young lady mm -hmm. and the young man took his life. So now two lives are ruined and gone. And so I have been touched by the violence there personally on a personal level. Um, I have all of my sons there, my children there. So I'm deeply concerned about those areas. And, um, 
M Mother Marcia, thank you for reminding us. Thank you. For, and we are going to pray for our youth. We pray, we've been praying for our youth. Mm -hmm. And our young men especially need spiritual fathers. Mother, I'm going to have to tell you, though, we as the men of God have got to step up. And we have got to be the fathers that the Lord has called us to do. And I personally, and the men in this council, especially myself, I'm a little older than most of the men in the council. Uh, uh, I, The Lord has spoken to me about fathership and mothership in the body of Christ. He called me to answer that call. I am answering them. I have six sons and two daughters. And I am telling you, uh, I work around the clock with my to, to bring my children up in the fear and the admonition of the Lord. And I'm telling you right now, fathers have to step up to the plate. And I'm going to say this, Mother Marcia, too. Not only do we have to step up to the plate as far as uh, uh, fathering our own children, but we have to see ourselves as father and mothers of all children that come before us. Lady Jen and I have been foster parents, respectively. We have worked. I have worked inside of the uh, system in terms. Many of you know LaSalle over there. I worked many years there. I, I advocated in the family courts there in the Tri-City area for many young men so they wouldn't go to prison. Uh, you know, at 13, 14, 15, 16 years old, they want to throw them in prison. And so, and they don't need that. What they need is an opportunity to, for, for somebody to lead them and show them the way. Um, Nordia Fletcher, Sister Nordia Fletcher, we thank the Lord for you, ma'am. Um, if you're a leader in the body of Christ, and I'm certain that you are, please forgive me because I do not know you personally. Um, but we thank thank the Lord for you. We honor all the leaders and the saints that come in in our services. Um, that is our custom. So we thank the Lord for you, ma'am. Uh, Mother Marcia, such a profound word, such a powerful word. We need to be reminded of that. And not only do we need to be hearers of the word that the Lord has given through you, ma'am, we need to step up, fathers, men of God, and we need to step up to the plate and be doers of the word. And the young men, we can't let them uh, bother us. We have to be patient, the scripture says, apt to teach them. Yes. So peradventure, the scripture says they'll recover themselves out of the snare of the devil. I thank the Lord for the counsel because we are fathering the young men. I, I, I even with one of my own sons, uh, was going through something. I went to Bishop V and I'm not afraid to turn my children over to those that are trusting the Lord. And I asked Bishop Verrill to call him and to work with him. And he did. And, um, my son just loves Bishop V. And so not afraid, not afraid. If my daughters are going through something, listen, I'm not afraid to call the men and the women of God and ask Ask them to water seeds that I planted because I'm not jealous. I'm not anything. I just want my children to be saved and blessed in the Lord. And that has to become, we have to get that village mentality again. We do. We can lead them to the Lord Jesus in love and in strength and in courage and in honor. I don't believe that they don't want to listen. I believe the problem is we need to give them a reason to listen. We need to live holy. We need to live right. We need to live with character, high character and integrity and I believe that they will listen to us no we're not perfect and the scripture doesn't call us to be perfect but it does call us to be holy and so they need to see genuine holiness and I believe in the council they are seeing that you know and so we need to continue to pray for one another that we all stay strong and that we stay uh, encouraged um, to do the will of the Lord especially as it relates to our children and uh, and that's absolutely, I was going there next, Mother Marcia. Thank you for that. She said, praise God. And mothers in Zion uh, need to minister to our young ladies, single mothers. Yeah. They absolutely do, Mother Marcia. And I thank the Lord for you because you're not just speaking that word. You actually live by it. And I've seen it for many years uh, in the way that you raise your children and so many others that you helped in the Tri-City area up there. And your family has helped, you know. And so we thank the Lord because Mother Marcia doesn't just talk about the word. She actually lives it. So we thank the Lord for you, Mother. And that's right. And our, I'll say this. We are, we are taking that mandate seriously. We are working with our young people. Lady Jen and I just got off the phone before we got on the broadcast with one of our spiritual daughters. We were on there for quite some time. I think we cleared maybe two or three hours and we're spending time with our young people in the council, our young leaders even. We're spending time um, and so many of them are married. Many of, are just starting out in their marriages. Many are single. We are taking the time but there's more that we can do. There's more that we will do and if we partner together it'll make it easier on all of us to do the work of the Lord together. I believe the key is going to be, Mother Marcia, that we mm -hmm. all work together yes. with our youth and with our children. Show them love, show them holiness, 
and show them that we can walk it before them in love. Yeah. You know, there is chastisement and correction that that's needed, but not to the point that we break their spirit where they become spiritual invalids. And we were sharing that word yesterday. Uh, with a couple of the leaders that we don't need to break them until there's until uh, their spirits uh, we don't need to drive that rod of correction so hard that their spirits are broken and they can't get up and they don't feel like they can get up and do the work in the will of the Lord so we want to we want to temper the chastisement that's needed sometimes with severe love we have to love them many times out of their misery out of their stupidity out of their because the saints Mother Marsha's uh, generation had to love us out of our foolishness. Yes. We're all street kids, mm -hmm. a bunch of heathens before we came to the Lord. Mm -hmm. and, and the worst thing was we were church kid heathens, so we knew better. And we were still heathen and out there. But the prayers of the older saints is why the Lord had a faithfulness and a promise to them to come save us, to literally save our lives, as we alluded to earlier, and to bring us into holiness yeah. and we are all here because of the prayer the correction the love of the older yes. saints yes. so critical now we owe it to our older yes, mothers and fathers in zion to follow in their footsteps for our younger generations yes. and be the mothers and fathers that they were to us so that the other generations have that same kind of covering love and protection so we thank the lord um for all of you, that's right, Sister Naija. I'm telling yes. you, we take we take family serious. Yes, we take we our do. children serious. We pray over our children every day, and we pray over your children every day. I hope many of you know that we have all of your children on our international prayer list. Yes, many do. of your children and all of you in this council, your children are on our prayer list. So every day that we pray... Um, we are praying over our children. Lady Jen and I and all the members at Cox Community, we believe in prayer. Lady Jen, you want to tackle that uh, comment there? You might have to. Which one? Oh, oh, right there oh, uh, by okay. Dr. Peace. Yeah. Yes, please pray for the city of Troy, New York, that evangelism, prayer, and the fire of God clean out the city. We pray more peace and less violence in Troy, New York. Absolutely. And I'm going to say yes, something that is so true because when I came there over 26 years ago, Troy was, I mean, now it wasn't perfect, but it was almost spick and span. And now it's kind of really hit the pot. It's not Detroit or Philly or the five boroughs of NYC, but you get a glimpse of it when you go there. You get it in Albany, you get it in Schenectady, and it was never like that for a long time. Uh, obviously, the Tri-City area had its problems. Um, one thing that I want to say, too, that I want to testify to is saints, leaders, we have to band together. Regardless if we are in different churches, regardless of our uh, 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 denominational affiliations, we have got to come together to evangelize our cities. Now, I was a little disappointed. I need to testify, First Lady, and I'll jump off this quick, but um, I, I was a little disappointed that we came there and we, we evangelized the Tri-City area. We went to Central Park on that Friday, mm -hmm. and then we went immediately following Central mm -hmm. Park. We went to Swinburne. Mm -hmm. Saturday, we gave hours of detail and attention. Mm -hmm. Sister Dorothy E. Morton Wilson, we thank the Lord for you, ma'am. Leaders, please continue to share. Saints, please continue to share and hit the reaction buttons. That's going to help somebody get the message on tonight. And I was a little disappointed that we were out there, those flyers were out there so far in advance, but when we were out yes. there, many of the Tri-City area's leaders were not out there. Right. One of the problems that has been in the past is that we have not been able to thoroughly work together. We are praying against that. We are praying the Lord is going to open our hearts and our minds to work together. Yes. Uh, we were gravely disappointed in one sense, blessed in another sense because there were leaders that asked how are we going to take the tri-city area but they didn't come out then we had leaders when we left got all the way back to dallas texas that said albany new york needs a tent revival we were just there so so we're not jumping on anybody it's not about condemnation what it's about is let's get together and let's let's work together to bring the word of the Lord to the masses, because let's, we've been saying this for quite some time, we've been prophesying in the council, that according to Isaiah 60 chapter, darkness is going to continue to come on the face of the earth and gross yes. darkness to people. Now what they need to see is the lighthouse yes. and the salt that the body of Christ is, and we brought it, we're going to bring it again next yes. year, 2024, we are coming to that Tri-City yes, area again, and guess what? 
We want to see all the leaders out there. We want you all to share the flyers. More speakers. More, more speakers. We share. More we share people. the microphones. Yes, we do. Trust me, no one is trying to prove anything or hog the microphones. We share. We like to see you out there preaching, praying, prophesying, evangelizing, telling souls about the Lord Jesus Christ with us. There's more than enough room in all those parks. There's more than enough space. If there's other venues you'd like us to come to, we will work with you to get to those venues. I'm hoping to do four cities this time, if not five or six, and spend more days out there evangelizing, but we are coming. Yes, Dr. Dr. P says there's been a lot of shootings these past two weeks. Young people have lost their lives. How many of them knew Jesus? Well, Doc, we hope all of them. Now, I will say one thing. The presence of the church is strong in that area, and many of them more than likely had born-again family members. But the key is they have to listen. Now, we, if they don't listen, we're going to pray. We're going to continue to pray. But I will say this. There's a strong presence of the Holy Ghost there, and there are strong uh, and strong churches there, okay? Mm -hmm. So, we are the watchmen. Uh, read that right there for us, First Lady, uh, Sister Niasia. Um, that is excellent, Sister Niasia. Yes, they better wake up. The watchmen are to deliver the warning. Don't get caught dead without Jesus. That's absolutely right. Absolutely. And, and I'm going to say something. In the watchmen's council, Sister Niasia knows she was out there with us. We are delivering the warning. Absolutely. We are delivering the warning. Yes, thank you, Lord. Yes. We are delivering the warning. That is so true, Sister Niasia. We are delivering the warning. We came, we delivered it. We're going to deliver it again. Lady Jen and I, on our way back, we stopped in Ohio. We're working with pastors there for a 2024 uh, uh, evangelistic crusade in Ohio. Yes. We're working with pastors in Michigan to bring 2024 there. We are, the Lord has given us a vision to take the gospel all over the country and then eventually the international community. We are looking, we are endeavoring to uh, get a fleet of RVs so we can travel with the large yes. evangelistic team. Prophets, worshipers, listen. If that interests you, listen. The Lord is going to bless us with the resources to do it and eventually the Lord's going to bless us with jets and we're going to get on them jets and we're taking the evangelistic crusades to the international community. Yes. Um, I come from a long line of evangelists. It is in my blood. It is in my heart. It is in my spiritual DNA. Lady Jen, same thing. So guess what? We are coming to an area near you, Lord willing. Saints, when you give to the council, when you give to Dominion House of Restoration, I give you Peace Ministries. When you give to Cox Community Church of Dallas, Texas, our budgets are going to evangelism and missions. This is my th um, fourth church that I have pastored, my third one that I have planted. Every church I have planted or pastored, the large 98% of the budget went to evangelism and missions. And in my first church, we had five millionaires. In my second one, three millionaires. The Lord is blessing Cox community. We've had large donors since we've founded this church. Our, your money is going to evangelism and missions. Lady Jen and I have trimmed the fat to where we have extremely low overhead for the church, so we're not spending money on uh, uh, on uh, building efforts and all of this stuff. We are taking this money. We are yeah. buying Bibles. We have a Bibles for Believers ministry. We're getting ready to ship some to Sister Niasia for her um, for her Bible study that she's firing up. Mm -hmm. We have shipped yeah. Bibles all over the country. We will ship them to the international community. And, uh, and so you're, the money that you sow in our ministry is going to Bibles, is going to tracts, is going to evangelism missions. The other churches that you're sowing into, it's going to feeding people. Uh, Sister Selena has plates with prayers. Your money's going to that. Your money's going to Dominion House of Restoration, um, has all kind of humanitarian projects going on. Your money is going for back to school for the kids to get their hair done, coat, shoes, clothes, you name it. Uh, Cox Community during, uh, the holiday Days, we are sending um, uh, 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 gifts for the children and aid for the children and all kind of st stuff uh, to other countries. Your money in this council is 98% of it is going to evangelism and missions. Guess why? Because all of our churches have trimmed the fat and we're keeping the overhead low. We're not looking, we're not dealing with building funds. We're not dealing with taking your money and fooling around. Yeah. Your money is going to evangelistic efforts. Now, I also thank you, Holy Ghost. I also want to say many of you gave for us to go to uh, Ghana, Africa for the mega global uh, uh, conference, but we were not given enough notice. Um, a project that large 
charge requires much more time. We were not able to um, go. So what we did is we converted the funds from that right into our evangelism missions. Much of that money went to uh, uh, fund us going to do evangelistic crusades in the Tri-City area, also going to set 2024 campaigns up in Ohio and Michigan and other places. We are looking at going for the winter into um, uh, to do a winter revival in Charlotte. We've already reached out to some of the prophets and pastors there. If you are interested, if you'd like to see that, the Lord has laid in my heart to do a winter revival in North Carolina. If you would like to give to that, please give. Um, most of you know where you can get. Please give. When that money comes in, it's going towards that revival. We are endeavoring. We are hoping to fire up in November. So the quicker that the money comes in, the quicker we can start putting the flyers out, the quicker we can get because we got to bring some of the preachers from New York, some coming um, from, uh, and then of course all of us coming from Dallas into North Carolina. And we have some of the preachers are in North Carolina. We took an evangelistic, uh, we took a trip there to, to plant a church in Virginia about a year or two ago. We also went over there to meet with some of the prophets and pastors about firing up evangelistic crusades in uh, North Carolina and Virginia. And the last state was uh, Georgia. So we went to Virginia, North Carolina, and Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia in particular, to talk with the pastors. And they were excited. We're going to be firing up evangelistic crusades all over this um country. So please, please, if you care about evangelism, if you want the Lord, you say, well, you know, Apostle First Lady, I, I don't I don't have the courage like that. I don't know if I have the chops for that. Don't even worry about it. We're your big brother. We're your big sister. We're your spiritual parent. We know how to get it done. We're going to go get it done. You can come with us or you can watch because we always uh, have our cameras out there for every service. And so we are going to do it on the whole council's behalf. We're taking this gospel out there. Trust me. I have 30 years of experience and several generations watching my forefathers evangelize the areas that we grew up in. My father went and evan not only did he uh, build churches uh, naturally uh, with his with his hands because he could work, he built them, he built, uh, I watched my father build them up spiritually, running revivals until the churches were built up and they had uh, a great congregation and then the bishop would send him to go do it somewhere else. I grew up up watching this and now I, the anointing is in, in and upon me and I'm doing it again four churches I've uh, 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 dealing with in the pastorate and in the bishopric three churches planted to date and have many more to go and trust me we have a blueprint that's already worked out by the vision of the Holy Ghost and so we are going to plant more churches in the years ahead we have a 10-year plan to start going churches globally, planting. That's why I declared my apostleship, and we're going to raise up a uh, young uh, bishop and pastor here to occupy the pastorate so Lady Jen and I can run like wild stallions all over the world, planting churches and bringing Holy Ghost hubs to the nations and to the United States in the states that need them. Um, yes. Dr. P says, thank you, Jesus, that evangelism has been brought back in the church through the NAWC. Absolutely, Dr. Yes, P. Sister Niasia said, thank you, and I honor Bishop and Pastor Sheba. They got me started with Bibles as well, awesome. even Spanish Bibles awesome. for those here that don't speak English. Nobody left, nobody behind. left behind. and Nobody. Awesome. Nobody, Sister Niasia. Awesome. And we bless okay. the Lord for uh, Bishop uh, Veron Pastor Sheba, Dominion House of Restoration. We are we are taking care of business mm -hmm. your money is going to these uh events going to these um sister uh Niage is getting ready to fire up a bible study so your money is going to evangelism and missions largely i would venture to say at least safely 98 percent is going to uh evangelism and missions the other two percent is going because we do have traveling costs for us to get there and we're even coming out of our own pockets where there's a deficit to make up the difference so that nothing falls through please consider giving to this north american watchman's council if you like to give please reach out to first lady jen pastor sheba mitchell uh uh, uh dr uh peace uh i give you peace ministry please reach out and so because that money is going in the council and it's going to uh fund us for our 2024 uh evangelistic yes. mission crusades mm -hmm. and beyond and beyond so we thank the lord uh many gave for us to start the crusades um, for our sound equipment here at Cox 
Community Church. We had donors give so that we could get the speakers and all the equipment that we needed, cameras that we needed. Um, we're endeavoring to, um, uh, we're looking to buy professional cameras mm -hmm. because we have a media team here spread out through the country that knows what to do with those cameras. So we're endeavoring to do professional shoots when we go out to these places. So you're giving at a certain point. We'll go so we can have professional cameras and get the word of the Lord out to the masses. Somebody needs the Lord Jesus. What we have, North American Watchmen's Council, Believers, Saints of the Most High, the world needs. Listen, continue to type the names in the chat. Any yes. more testimonies? Any We're kind of lingering here, just joining mm -hmm. the presence of the Lord. Yes. Any more testimonies? Anybody else? Um, Dr. P said thank you to Bishop V and Pastor Sheba for visiting me here at the rehab. Amen. They have been with Dr. Peace yes. almost every day, helping me out in many ways and praying for me. Um, I appreciate you both. Dr. Peace did do an official thank you uh, 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 letter on uh, a post on Facebook. And so we bless the Lord for Bishop V and Pastor Sheba. Uh, Lady Jen and myself uh, have been checking in on Dr. Peace um, uh, uh, pretty much on a daily basis. And we got Dr. Peace. Uh, all of us are lifting up our spirits. This is what we do. We take care of each other yeah. as we're going through situations. And so... Dr. Peace is in great hands, yes. and uh, I know what I wanted to yes. share. Thank you, Holy Ghost. <laughs> Dr. Peace, some lady, some nurse was in there acting crazy. Here's another testimony. You remember some nurse was oh, up yeah. in there acting crazy, <laughs> and Dr. Peace got to praying, and the Lord came up in there and removed the nurse, put her completely at another facility. See, the Lord will okay. even take care of Satan when he's acting pesky through people. And, you, and and I love what happened. She didn't lose her job. Dr. Peace didn't pray for her to lose her job. She didn't lose her job. She just got moved to another facility. So Dr. Peace and all of the, because this lady was kind of acting out of sorts. Dr. Peace got to praying so that all of them in there that were recovering, because you don't need that kind of heckling going on. No. You know, and we got many nurses here. And uh, I used to be a porter in the nursing home. My mother's a nurse. My sister's a nurse. So we worked in there. So absolutely. <laughs> so Dr. P shared that and we were laughing, but we thank the Lord that the Lord answered her prayer and honored her prayer so that this lady could be removed. We didn't want her to lose her job. Sister Lori Grace, we thank the Lord for you, ma'am. We didn't want her to lose her job. Okay, we didn't want people have to feed their family. We don't want her to lose her job, but we also didn't want her up there impeding the progress, yes. the healing process of our, our, our of our great leader, Doctor Peace, and all the rest of the souls that were in there. And this lady was kind of being mean and being off and acting weird. And so we even pray for her soul that she will find the Lord Jesus, because whatever was aggravating her, we also want her to find peace in the Lord. So, First Lady, anything else? No, that sums it up. <laughs> Sums it up. Anybody else got any more yeah. testimonies? We'll give you about two, three more minutes. Or prayer requests. Or prayer requests. We, uh, we do prayer. have our prayer request, and we're going to pray for a place with prayer. Sister Selena's doing a mighty work there, mm -hmm. delivering mm -hmm. meals. Dr. Peace has been uh, assisting her at times, and so she's doing a mighty work. Listen, you want to support yes. uh, plates with prayers. So yes. you, you, that comes in. Listen, whatever you're sending your money to, please earmark it through Cash App, PayPal. Uh, we have uh, uh, church lines for pledges. Mm -hmm. And we also have, uh, you can send many of our saints send to Cox Community um, by mail. Uh, we have many saints that send by mail. So, um, uh, Dr. Peace, we love you and we thank the Lord. Um, it's a it's a privilege and honor, man, to cover I Give You Peace Ministries while you're out. We're going to continue to do it to your back until you tell us you're ready to fire up and you're ready to go again. We're going to cover that pulpit. We also want to thank the Lord for Kingdom Embassy, Dominion House of Restoration. They have also been assisting us. We want to thank the Lord for our youth. Uh, Sister Asia's been assisting us. Um, she was in prayer with us um, on uh, when we we're in prayer on Wednesday, Thursday night. She's been there. She's leading us in worship every Sunday afternoon. And so we thank the Lord for... Uh, um, uh, and, and, and guess what? Guess what? I got to bring this testimony up again, <laughs> Lady Jen. I do. Mm -hmm. Sister Asia got the Holy Ghost in a Sunday afternoon service. Yeah. That young lady got filled with the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. Dr. Peace laid her hands on her daughter and the woman, the young lady came up with the Holy Ghost 
Okay? If that's not apostolic, I don't know what is. I'm going to tell you, we have the laying out of hands. That's how the first century apostles would do. I've laid my hands on many people. They received the Holy Ghost. Uh, Lady Jen received the Holy Ghost. I led, Holy, the Holy Ghost led me one day to anoint her with all, lay my hands on her. She came up with the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. We have the power of the Holy Ghost in the council. We have apostolic, prophetic, pastoral teaching and evangelistic anointings for healing, for miracles, and for receiving the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Listen, signs are truly following us, as Bishop V rightly declared earlier. So, Wednesday night, we are going in prayer. Thursday night, we are going in prayer. Wednesday night, to, uh, which is tomorrow night, uh, the Mitchells are leading us in our Wednesday night Bible study, our midweek Bible study. Thursday night, we're going to kick it up on the round table. I am excited. I've been invited again. I always count an honor or privilege. Yes. So we are going to fire up that round table on Thursday night. The Mitchells, you know, they don't play. They're always dynamic. I call them the tag team of holiness because they are not fooling around. And when I'm on there, sometimes I feel like a teacher. Sometimes I feel like a student because they have the word of the Lord in their mouth. Listen, when you sow into the council, you are sowing into good ground. And can I say this? We don't beg for money. We're not begging for money. We are not rolling over in the floor for money. Trust me, the Lord has taken care of it, and he will take care of it. Thank Sister you, Karen Campbell, we thank the Lord for you, yes. ma'am. So Bless good to see you. you. Sister Karen, we've been praying for your entire family. Yes. You are on our international prayer list, yes. along with uh, everyone else in here. We are, that's right, Dr. Peace, we call the Mitchells a tag team of holiness, because they are not joking around. Yes. They are calling men to repentance. Mm -hmm. They are letting you know you can come to glory, or you can end up in hell. It's your choice. The Lord said, I set before you life and death. Choose life Jesus. that you may live. And they are not joking around. They are preaching holiness. So are we. Yes. So are the Davises. Listen, so is uh, Dr. Peace, and I give you peace, and uh, Apostle Annette. We are preaching holiness. We are not playing around. So we thank the Lord. Mm -hmm. Yes. For all of you, we're mm -hmm. Lady Jen and I are going to give about three to five more minutes for testimonies, yes. prayer requests. We're just trying to give a little time here, and then we're going to pray out. We thank the Lord for all of you, so yes. many of you coming thank in. You. We are going to be back with you next week. Lady Jen has invited me courteously and graciously on to assist her for a while. I told her I would, even though my plate is extremely full. I am about making sure that the council is going forward and the firepower of the Holy Ghost. I, as an apostle, am willing to assist anybody, anywhere, anytime, reach out, say something. We got even churches that don't belong to our council will reach out, apostle, can you assist me this? Can you assist me in prayer? Now, can you do this? Can you preach for us? Can you do this? I will assist you. I am loaded and ready. I stay ready. I stay on nuclear status. I've never turned one of these preachers down, and by the grace and firepower of the Holy Ghost, may I never turn any of them down. And if I had to, it would only be because I'm ministering somewhere else and blessing somebody else. But I tell you this, I will even do my best to work with other leaders to do some rearranging mm -hmm. so that everybody can be touched. I am all things counsel, all things church, all things holiness, all things firepower of the Holy Ghost, teaching, preaching, evangelizing. We are delivering miracles, signs, wonders. We are all things the kingdom of God, and we are not joking around. So, if you uh, want to take part in any of the ministries, if you want to uh, become uh, uh, members, or you want to walk with us, please reach out to any of these Fire and the Holy Ghost preachers. They're going to get you connected into their services and all the services and all things council. Again, announcement, excited, shouted. All of our team members got that North American Watchman's Council business information hub fired up. Dr. Peace and I were talking about it some time ago. It is up, alive and breathing. Our team members got it up. We want to thank the Lord for Dr. Peace, Lady Jim, and we want to thank the Lord for uh, Bishop V and Pastor Sheba Mitchell getting that hub up, making sure I did the writing for the uh, 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 for the um, mission. When you come in, the purpose and the goal. Uh, mm -hmm. Pastor Sheba and I partnered together. She did part of the writing. I did the other part. It's up there for you. We are all working together to make sure that the will, work and will of the Lord is done. We are partnering together, truly. And it was such a blessing when we came to the Tri-City area to just spend time, let our hair down with many of you. Lady Jen and I believe in close leadership, leadership that you can touch. We are not ducking anybody. Yes. 
We're not separating ourselves. We're not hiding. Yes, we do get our rest and our and our leaders make sure we get rest, but we are accessible. All the leaders are accessible. We're touchable. We will sit down. We will come to your house. We'll have Bible study with you. We will talk to you. Lady Jen and I were up there, Roy's Caribbean. And um, uh, a man, we were talking to um, uh, uh, a mother, uh, 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 mother over there that owns a restaurant. We were talking to her daughter, who we found out was right in McKinney, Texas, and just came back yes. to the Tri-City area. And she was sitting with a young man, and he began to ask about the word of the Lord, and we didn't run. We took the time to stop, mm -hmm. even though we were very busy. We had other, we delayed other meetings, and we took the time to stop. Uh, we took the time to answer all his questions about the word of the Lord. We took him time to time to get him uh, in uh, hooked into the services and all of that. And so we thank the Lord. We will take the time and stop. Souls are important, extremely important to all the members of this council, to all the preachers. Mm -hmm. Souls are important to Lady Jen and I. We are going to stop and answer people's questions. We've been all over the country, Lady Jen and I. We have ministered everywhere, in the streets, in the churches, at living room, dining room tables. Wherever the Lord gives us an open door of faith, we're there ministering. We are on fire and the firepower of the Holy Ghost, I'm telling you right now. So I'm super excited about this business information hub. I'm super excited that we're doing the work of the Lord. And I'm going to tell you, after we shared that word at Roy's Caribbean's, then we were on and we were sitting in one of our sister's house and ministering the word of the Lord to her spirit. She called us up when we got back. Uh, she Another sister needed to help. And the Holy Ghost gave me oracles for that sister. Listen, we don't turn anybody away. We, the Holy Ghost got something for you. Mm, yes. Trust me. We're not relying on our own strength. Amen. Not by our strength. Not by our might. But okay, by the Spirit. Okay. Listen. Yes. By the Spirit of the Lord. Not by might nor by power. The Word of the Lord says in the prophet Zechariah. But by the Lord's Spirit. We are working by the Spirit. Dr. Peace, we thank the Lord for you. And um, she's praying for me personally. Give God, uh, uh, God give Apostle Miraculous strength, healing, rest, and refueling yes, as he continues amen. the work of the kingdom. Yes. I so appreciate that, Dr. Peace. Yes. I need it. But let, can I say this? Y'all are a praying people. Mm -hmm. I have been on broadcast. I was on broadcast the Sunday before last. My body was not working with me. I asked. I am not afraid to solicit prayer. Y'all have heard me ask y'all for prayer right live on the broadcast multiple times. When y'all get to praying, the Lord answers immediately. My voice was gone. My vocal cords were strained out of the wazoo. And you guys got to praying. You saw the Lord touch me on live broadcast. My voice came back. Don Rico, we thank the Lord for you, sir. My voice came back. My body, I got in the firepower of the Holy Ghost. And I'm telling you right now, it was an awesome time in the Lord. We watched the Lord yes. touch me by your prayers yes. on live broadcast. Yes. Trust me, this lady right here, first lady, divine healing. She believes it. She eats, sleeps, yes. and breathes it. Mm -hmm. This lady won't even hardly take uh, 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 medication. I can't hardly get her to get, she actually doesn't take any medication, but I can't even hardly get her to take an Advil when she's got a head headache. She believes in divine healing, but you know why? Because the Holy Ghost answers her all the time. Headaches go away, body aches, whatever she's going through. Uh, Satan attacked her about a year ago, and we, we almost lost her, and then two more times he attempted. But because you were all praying, we testified about how the Lord kept the First Lady in two close calls on her life. She was supposed to be in Allen, Texas, when they had that mall shooting up there. And the Holy Ghost spoke to her and said, leave right now. She left. And she didn't end up amongst those numbers. Just before that, the Holy Ghost told her not to go the way that she normally goes for work, but to deviate to the park and come to find out if she'd have went through there, one of the 18-wheelers, the wheel came off the truck, hit the car, killed the passenger, and left a newborn baby alive in the backseat. Thank the Lord, but the devil has been trying to take our first lady out. The devil is a liar. And because of our prayers and your prayers and us praying for her together, yes. look, Though not only is she alive, she fired up our testimony Tuesday uh, uh, services for us. So the Lord used her and preserved her to use her. So mm -hmm. we thank the Lord. We got to be praying for one another. Isn't that right, First Lady? Yes. We have got to be praying for each other because the devil yes, do. is busy. We don't glorify him. He's already defeated. He's already in the abyss. But we want to thank the Lord for all of your prayers. Please continue to share as you're coming and please continue to yes. hit the reaction button. Mm -hmm. Many of you are coming in and out. We thank the Lord for any amount of time you can spend with us. Many of you have been with us from start to finish, so we bless the Lord for you. Any more testimonies? Anybody have any more testimonies? We're kind of just lingering around for testimonies. Anybody need prayer? Please type your please
please type your prayer request in the chat. If anybody that's related to you or connected to you needs prayer, please type their name in the chat. We're getting ready to pray. We're just kind of lingering uh, mm -hmm. that the Spirit of the Lord might work in our hearts. Yes. And because we don't want to miss anybody's testimony, we don't want to miss anybody's prayer. Many of you have been with us. I think this is our sixth episode that we mm -hmm. have been on by the firepower of the Holy Ghost. So listen, we are praying people, and the Lord is answering his praying people. All right? So. Yes. And if you guys know anyone in the Dallas, Texas area or anywhere in Texas, because we traveled to Austin and, and also San Antonio and Houston. And if you guys know anyone, we can connect with them and we can worship with them or whatever. Just let us know and we can reach out to them. Absolutely. And Any of your family members want Bible study at their homes? Yes. Let us know. Reach out. Connect us. We will bring the Bible study. Lady and Jen and I do it all the time here. We will bring the Bible study to their home. We'll bring it to their church. We'll bring it to a Dunkin' Donuts if they want to meet us at a Dunkin' Donuts. We bring the word of the Lord. We travel all over the state of Texas. It doesn't matter. We go five hours to San Antonio. We go below there. We'll go all the way down to Galveston and Corpus Christi. Mm -hmm. we, we have brought the word of the Lord to Austin multiple times, yeah. San Antonio multiple times. We just recently, the Lord took us to Houston. Yes. We have brought the word of the Lord up there in uh, Wichita, Texas. Um, a few times. A few times. Fort Worth. Mm -hmm. There is no place off limits in this Dallas-Fort Worth metroplex area. So if you have family members here, even if you have them in Oklahoma, we will cross the border in Oklahoma to bring the word of the Lord to them. Oklahoma is about a two-hour shot for us. Mm -hmm. We'll be right up there. And we will bring the word of the Lord to him. If they're in Louisiana, we'll go in Louisiana. If they're in Mississippi, we'll meet him in Mississippi. You got family members, they need the word of the Lord, they want the word of the Lord, we will bring it to their doorstep of their church, of their home, of a restaurant, of a eatery, a diner, a dive, whatever it is, okay? We will bring it to you, okay, according to the scripture, I have to give that disclaimer, we're not going <laughs> in bars and weird places, no. but you know, we're safe, so we're going to the safe spots, okay? And, um, but we'll meet them anywhere if they want revival in the parks if they've got open air venues we will come and run revival for the pastors anybody so if you're connected to churches you're connected to people get us to them we will come and we will serve their households whether individually or corporately their churches please we will go we will go all right, we got the equipment, we got the time, we got vehicles, we got everything needed, and we got budget. We will go worship with you. Yes, All right, so yes. if you want us to come to you, mm -hmm. let us know. We're there. All right, so um, we're getting ready to pray. Okay, if you think of anybody while we're praying, just drop them in there. We're getting ready to pray. Uh, Mother Marsha said, praise the Lord. The devil is defeated. God is exalted. Bless you, Lady Jen. Thank you, Mother. Uh, Dr. P said, glory, hallelujah. God, thank you for protecting and keeping Lady Jen. Absolutely, because Lady Jen is not only our first lady here. She is my wife, and I love her. She's my treasure and my gem, and I pray over her every day, nightly, and I'm speaking the word of the Lord over her. I pray for her divine health all the time. Um, Dr. P said, I just love you both for Apostle and Lady Jen. You just boldly you. step out and do God's will. Dr. Peace, we love you. We love your whole entire family. Mother Naomi, Sister Asia, uh, Kivan, um, Nate. We love your whole entire family. Every member of I Give You Peace Ministries, we love uh, the work that the Lord is doing through I Give You Peace Ministries yeah. and all of the uh, programs, feeding programs, all that you do, Dr. Peace. Mm -hmm. um, we're praying for your strength. We're praying for you to come back because we need you back, ma'am. And Dr. Peace never quits. The woman goes through surgery and she's she's on the phone mm -hmm. with Lady Jen and I uh, 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 working on this business mm -hmm. hub and yes. a couple other hubs we're going to be uh, presenting. Yeah. And all of our leaders are working, Dr. Uh, peace works tirelessly in this council. Yes, we want to thank the Lord for all the saints that have connected with all of the churches and continue to connect. Next year, 2024, we're looking at having another installation service. Yes. So listen, now I'm going to tell you right now, we don't just ordain and install folks. Uh, it's not go to college and you're ready to preach the gospel. No, you got to come. It's OJT. You got to walk with us. Yes. Uh, but if you believe the Lord's calling you to the ministry, let's get going. Because 2024, Lord willing, we are going to have another installation service. We're yes. already working with leaders here in Dallas, Texas. Many of the pastors, the Lord is laying on their hearts to work with leaders. Yes. Listen, if you believe the Lord's called you, 
We need to make sure you're up to par because the old saints used to say to us, you remember first lady, if you go out there and the Lord didn't send you, it is certain the devil will send you back and you won't be in the same peace you were when you went out there. So we're going to make sure we don't rush things. Uh, we got marriages lined up for 2024, um, here in Dallas, Texas. So listen, we don't marry anybody on the spot. We don't ordain anybody on the spot. We don't install anybody on the spot because the devil will tear it apart. We want to make sure we build it on a solid rock that it stands for yes. the remainder lady yes. jen and i are not joking around we are putting the work in here so again and so are the pastors in the council so we're going to close in prayer okay we thank the lord again for all of you we'll be back next week lady jen's going to lead us again thank you lady jen again yes, for leading you. us thank you for well, seeking you the word of the lord such yes. a privilege and an honor to yes. to serve with you and to assist you I it's nice to be in this role yes. uh just to assist and just to be laid back you know so mm -hmm. Testimony to her, Tuesday service time is letting our hair yes. down and just enjoying the word of the Lord. Yes. Please continue Thank to share you. your testimonies throughout Thank the week you. with us. We're going to do our best to catalog all of them because mm -hmm. we're getting them by the truckloads. And, uh, but we do do our best to pay attention and to make sure we're loaded for Tuesday night. Lady yes. Jen's always on her face seeking the Lord for what he is going to say to us. She has a soft touch, a softer approach than I do, but we thank the Lord for that. It's truly the beauty in the beast. And I don't mind being the beast to her beauty. Trust me in the firepower of the Holy Ghost because we need that fathering spirit, but we need that mothering, nourishing, sweet spirit, and she has it, okay? Yes. Lady Jen is strong. Don't let her fool you because it's the same lady that's sweet and strong, but she's also a lady to be standing camels with, with AR-15s in her hand too, guarding places. So she is no joke, all right? But she is so sweet. She's so strong. And we just love you, Lady Jen. Thank you for leading yes. us on Tuesday and I night. Love you guys. Absolutely. She makes that known all the time. And I love all of our first ladies in the council because they're all sweet and they all make sure you know you're loved and you're cared for. Pastor Sheba, Lady Jen, Lady Kara yes. Davis, all of the ladies in the council, they make sure that you know that you're loved. Um, Dr. Peace, we're going to pray for your auntie Jennifer, that she'll regain her ability to walk. Yes, we are. Amen. God King Coop, thank the Lord for you. Sir, coming in, we bless the Lord for you. Please continue to share the broadcast. Uh, even after we go off, please continue mm -hmm. to share. You can comment. You can watch it again. Play it in front of your family members so they can be encouraged in the firepower of the Holy Ghost. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I'm sorry, Lady Jen, are we ready to pray? Yes, yes. Definitely. Okay, let me let me obey <laughs> yes. the leadership here. I'm Thank sorry. You. Sorry about yes. that. Let me obey leadership. No, I believe in obeying leadership. <laughs> all right, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, first of all, for just this awesome time to come together as yes. your children in your yes. presence. And Lord, we know that your word says there's a book of remembrance being written on our behalf because we are talking about your mighty acts, your mighty miracles, your signs, and your wonders. And Lord, you are certainly giving them. And that's why our testimony services are on fire in the Holy Ghost is because you are answering our prayer. Father, we learned over the past week that the joy of the Lord is the soil that our hearts need to rest in so you can plant the seeds of answered prayer yes. and you can water them by the firepower of the Holy Ghost and you will give the increase. Father, we thank you on tonight. We thank you, first of all, for our young people, our young men and our young women, our young men. As, as Mother Chandler rightly pointed out, that, Lord, our young men need to be spiritually yes. fathered. Our young ladies need to be spiritually mothered. Lord, may these young men and these young women begin to listen to their elders. May we be strong and bold, not to cower and not to be intimidated, but to love them. Yes, there's going to be a little chastisement because you said you chastise every son whom you receive and that it doesn't feel good for the moment, but it yields the peaceable fruit of righteousness. But, Lord, let us be more loving. Pour on the love. We need a little bit chastisement. Father, you know how to mix the apothecary just right that our young yes. people will be able to hear and to see that you are truly in us. Help us to walk clean, holy at all times. Help us not to be doing anything that will shipwreck their faith. Help us to walk on that highway of holiness without deviating whatsoever so they have true examples. Lord, we pray of our marriages tonight. We are expecting 50-year marriages by the truckloads. We are expecting that to be the average. We're expecting the saints to live above, above 100 years old on the average. You promised us that, Father, according to you signifying your word according to Psalms 91. You told us the reason you would bless us for that. And Lord, we gave your prophecy to the entire body so that they understand what you are offering us and what you promised us and what you're going to bless us with. Father, we pray over our businesses tonight because Lord, we know that we need resources to do your work and bring the kingdom of God here in the earth. So we pray over every business leader, Lord, that an open window would come open over all their businesses and the firepower of the Holy Ghost, the pneuma of the Holy Ghost would begin to drive clients, begin to drive contracts, begin to drive 
my goods and services. Lord, bless our North American Watchman's Council Business Information Hub so that all leaders find what they need to be successful in their businesses. Lord, send, uh, uh, think, let, let it become a think tank. Send thinkers. Lord, send your professors. Lord, send your doctors. Lord, send your lawyers. Send your professional people. Send your business owners of all genres, your corporate business owners, local business owners, whatever level of glory, Lord, that you reveal, let them begin to be, be drawn and attracted to this business information of to share their wisdom, to share their knowledge, to share their understanding. Lord, that you have graced them with over the years that they have been successful in business. Lord, may this council prosper wildly so that we can take what you have blessed us with, Lord, and we are not going to do you like generations in the past of leadership. Lord, that prostituted the gift, that prostituted the resources, that prostituted and turned away from you and went after covenants, according to Ezekiel, the 33rd chapter, but according to Deuteronomy, the 12th chapter, Lord, we are going to keep you first at all times. We are going to take what you bless us, and Lord, we are going to take it, and we are going to reach the masses of this world for the glorious gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. 7.2 billion people on the planet, Lord, and it is not your will that any one perish, not a single hair on their head perish. And so, Father, we have more than job security. We have more than enough work to do, and you told us to get hot and busy on the work. We need to be hot in the fire, power of the Holy Ghost. No man never be said there's one lukewarm servant in the council. Lord, may we be firecracker hot and nuclear status hot in bringing the Lord Jesus to this world so that no lives are lost to that devil's hell because your word says it wasn't even created for mankind. So Lord, may many, this last great harvest, may millions of souls, even billions of souls, begin to pour in to the body of Christ by the work that we're doing globally as the prophetic network, i.e. the body of Christ. Lord, we're praying over our marriages. We're praying over our businesses. We're praying over our young people. We're praying over our seniors. We're praying over our elders, Lord. Help us to go into the nursing homes. Help us to visit in the nursing homes, in the jails. Lord, all of our incarcerated brothers and sisters, Lord, who are even suffering for their faith, you said to remember them on tonight as being in the flesh ourselves and to comfort them. Where with the comfort you have comforted us? So we lift up all of our brothers and sisters that are facing and languishing in jails and facing martyrdom for their faith. Lord, may you deliver all the ones that you have preordained and those that have not, Lord, give them the strength and the curse to stand in that glorious hour. Lord, that they may receive the martyr's crown of life and that you may be glorified amongst the people there where they are. Father, we thank you on tonight for all these precious promises, the rich promises in your word and in the firepower of the Holy Ghost that we have your revelation. We can compare spiritual things with spiritual. We have the mind of Christ. We do have the adjudic we do have the discerning power to inspect fruit so that we are not overtaken by false apostles, prophets, pastors, teachers, evangelists, and the wicked messengers of the Lord Jesus Christ. May it never be said that one of us yes. was lost to that, but may it be said that when we reach you in that day of judgment, Lord, that you will say, well done, thou good and faithful servant, to yes. every single last one of us, and we will yes. enter that rest that you prepared yes. for us yes. to serve you and to love you and to be with you for all glory. Father, we thank you for every family member on tonight. We thank you for Auntie Jennifer. We thank you for place with prayers. We thank you for all the names that are listed. Lord, it is it is not escaped my attention. It certainly hasn't escaped yours. Father, every family member, near and far, every co-worker, everyone connected to us in any capacity, we lift them up before you tonight. Lord, may you move by your spirit. Holy Ghost, please go before us into their lives and do the work that only you can do. And Lord, if there's anything we can do, Lord, put it on our hearts and in and, and prayer and in communion with you and place these people in our path or place us in their path and we'll be faithful to discharge your oracles, your word, and your blessings to them. So truly they'll know you're alive and well and say, what must I do to be saved? Lord, help us to have the boldness in this hour to go against the grain of society and culture, both in the national and international community. Let us stand bold as lions and lionesses for you. Let us cry loud and spare not, lift up our voices and show America its sin and the international community, its transgression, so they have the opportunity to repent and many souls can be saved. Lord, help us not to get in any anger, uh, uh, any arguments with our brothers and sisters in this apostate church, but help us to love them, help us to call them to repentance. Peradventure, they'll recover themselves out of the snare of the enemy, that they will not crucify you afresh and end up in a devil's hell. Father, we thank you on tonight for the old paths of holiness, for them being restored. You're calling us to build the race places in the desolation of many generations, and we take that work seriously. Lord, keep us on tomorrow in that uh, in our Wednesday night Bible study on the round table on Thursday and IPBS on uh, Saturday and in our two services on Sunday. May you be glorified in yes. each and every one. Please, Holy yes. Ghost, continue
continue to draw as only you can. Let an untold number of souls come into these services and be blessed by the word. Continue to bless our businesses, Lord, so that we have, um, and continue to bless the saints in their jobs and in their businesses, Lord, so that we can give mightily on your behalf to the work. Help us to trust your work again. Help us to trust your heart again. Help us to trust your spirit again. And most importantly, help us to trust one another again with your work, Lord, so that we can give, not being concerned about that somebody's going to fall off the deep end here, but that we can go truly and magnify you together. No big eyes and no little U's, but Lord, help us. We are not living by the letter of the law, but by the spirit that gives life for where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Father, we bless you on tonight. We love you on tonight. May every house rest in peace. May every soul have peaceful rest on tonight. Lord, we glorify you. We magnify you and we worship you in the beauty the beauty of holiness. In King Jesus' name, we love you, Father. Amen and amen. amen. All right, everybody. Lady Jen yes. and I love you. love you. We love you in the firepower yes. of the Holy Ghost. And we can say that because we preach the yes. unadulterated and we teach yes. the unadulterated word of the Lord. We give it to you straight with no chaser, non water yes. down the way the Lord wants it. No sugar, no sweet and low, and no equal. Just the unadulterated word that, you, that can go down in your sanctified soul and bear witness. And that you can search the scriptures and you will see that the word of the Lord is so. We thank the Lord for all of you from Cox Community Church of Dallas, Texas, the North American Watchman's Council. We love you all. We bid you all a good night. May your households be yes, at peace. Lord, be May no peace. demons enter through the threshold of your households to disturb, cause confusion or wickedness. May every household rest in peace on tonight. Lady Jen and I love you and we bid you all a good night for now. Join us good in the night, Wednesday night Bible night. study on yes, tomorrow, tomorrow and see our tomorrow. Thursday night uh, round table and they and uh the mitchells will keep us posted for later in the week services all right we love you all and we bid you all a good night for now good night